Looking for a super offer on Super Bowl 58? DraftKings Sportsbook have you covered. New customers can bet on the big game and turn five bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Shannon. New customers can bet five bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58 with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85 route running extraordinaire feet made of clouds. Bengals legend, ring of famer, three-time All-Pro, six-time yeah. Pro Bowl player. Liberty City hey, Finals, yeah. Chad Ochocinco yeah. Johnson. Uh, we're now officially at 974,000 subs. That means we're 26,000 yeah. subs away from the magic number of 1 million. Ocho, our show will exactly be four months old. Um, we've had a channel for four months. October the 8th is when we started right. this channel. So in four months, our goal has always been, we've never deviated, to try to get the 1 million subs in four months or less. Yeah. And so we're tracking in the right yes, direction. We're going to probably have to pick it up over the next couple of days, but I believe it's, it can, it can yeah. be done. It's doable. Please... I think we're going to do it. I, think I we really gonna hope so, Ojo. Do it. I really got, hope so. That's it. our goal. Please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can get Nightcap through Club Shay Shay, but Nightcap has its own feed in which you can listen to every episode live through the Nightcap podcast feed. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. Hey, Super Bowl parties a couple of, couple of days away. You got Valentine's Day. You got St. Patrick's Day. And I'm sure some of you guys have got birthdays. Please make sure you go out and get yourself a bottle for you or that someone special. Ladies, if you get your guy one of those bottles, he'll thank you and you'll thank me later. So please make sure you support. Mm -hmm. Go out and get your bottle of Shea by Laportier. Also, we've been nominated for an NAACP Image Award for the Arts, Sports, and oh, Entertainment yeah. Outstanding Podcast. Guys, please head over to the uh, link. I think we pinned the link, right, Ash? We pinned the link so you can go over there and vote for us. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And and uh, that means a lot to us because we do this and it shows the support. And uh, that's our goal. We try to be the best at whatever we do, whatever we do. And through you guys and God, everything, anything's possible. All things are possible. So please make sure you head over there to the NAACP and vote for Nightcap Unk and Ocho. Uh, we're nominated for an NAACP Image Award, Art, Sports, and Entertainment Outstanding Podcast. So thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank the NAACP for nominating us. Appreciate it that you've noticed our hard work Ocho and I have been doing. Gil also on Wednesday with the basketball edition. So we greatly, greatly appreciate that. Just make sure you go over there and um, and vote. And I think Jordan has done this tutorial. <laughs> Was it today? Uh, okay. Check out Jordan's tutorial video. Whew, good luck with that one. But, but, check, but check it out. He put a lot of time, energy, and effort into that. So, guys, uh, uh, please make sure you go check that video out and get an opportunity. Make sure you vote for Nightcap, Unk and Ocho. 49ers believe, get into some football, 49ers believe practice field is giving them an unfair advantage. The 49ers are trying to figure out where they'll practice this week after finding the surface at UNLV far softer than they expected. The university has a pair of artificial surface fields uh, that last week were overlaid with natural grass. But because there's no surface place between the artificial turf and the new side, the fields had, had a sponge-like feel. The Athletic wrote the 49ers were so unhappy that they initially considered flying, flying back from Vegas following Monday night's media event and practicing in Santa Clara before the game, but have since backed off that plan. Tonight, good, uh, Roger Goodell, Commissioner Goodell, maintained that the NFL has deemed mm -hmm. the field playable despite the 49ers' concern. Yeah. First of all, guess what? Mm -hmm. NFL officials, you're not playing. Yes, sir. Y'all don't put no cleats on. So just because you say, oh, it's playable. What about the players? What right. about the coaches that's going to be right. on there and, uh, and mm -hmm. are expecting a certain type of surface in order to be able to practice right. on? Now, we don't want to use that as an excuse, mm -hmm. but I, I think in right. a situation like this, Ocho, you want to make sure both teams are at their best. And the last thing you want is yes. the one team to feel like we have an unfair advantage because the surface that we're right. practicing on is not is not adequate or is not appropriate or as it could close and as to the uh the surface that we're going to be playing on come sunday right so 
Uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully everybody gets this thing worked out. And uh, uh, the, the uh, 49ers says, you know what? Hey, it is what it is. Let's go make the best of it. But I just don't like the fact that the commissioner yeah. just came out and said they have deemed it. Well, uh, so let me ask you a question. Who right. put on cleats both- and went out there and tested it? Right. I mean, listen, it's um obviously it's unfortunate. I, I think about how you and yeah. I grew up, Uncle. Um, I think about the playing surfaces that we had to deal with. I think about the playing surfaces that I had to deal with playing throw up tackle at Charles Hadley Park, playing throw up tackle at Moore Park down in Liberty City. And to think about how happy I was to play on those surfaces with holes and divots and and, and all type of sprinkler heads <laughs> coming up. And obviously I know you expect once you make it to the highest level, you want everything to be perfect. At sometimes any little inconvenience, oh, it's an issue, or the playing surface is too small, or or just like I I I get it. Obviously, it's a Super Bowl, so you you I don't think it's an unfair advantage. Now, mind you, now we've been playing football mm-hmm. for 19 weeks playing the game of football for 19 weeks now we're grown men and at the smallest thing can meet we can't let the smallest thing be inconvenienced we know what to do we know we're, we're going to be playing on bermuda grass that is very fast when it comes to game time and a, a little inconvenience with the service not being what you're used to it being shouldn't be that much of an inconvenience where you, you want to think about flying back home you know as opposed to going out there and practicing we let me ask you now that's that's just me now, everybody else might be different Everybody, else, that's just me and and my thought process process when it comes to it, based on where I came from and what I grew up having to do. Something like the feel being a little different than what I'm used to wouldn't inconvenience me when I know the work I got to get in, as far as coming prepared. Could, let, for let's a just game. say, for the sake of argument, just, you it, it, to me, it's, you it, were to the me Bengals, it's nitpicking. and all of a sudden, I understand that you grew yes, up playing on those fields, and all of a sudden, the Bengals had to go play on that field. You okay with that? You dodged right. your sprinkler head divots. Bottles. I, I I see where you're going, but that's that's very uh, you dramatic. Said, what did you and, just and, say? How you grew up playing on the on the sprinkler heads and dodging those? I'm I'm gonna say concrete, yeah. all that stuff, um, But I'm saying even even though it's at the highest level, it isn't that much of inconvenience because the field is a little soft. Like it's just, the, come on now, let me ask you a question. Can't be Why did you celebrate? Because in your mind, it gave you advantage. Uh-huh. You needed to be Ocho. You wore your uniform a certain way. And when the NFL told you to change your uniform, what did you say, Ocho? Why did you say no, no Ocho? It ain't nothing but a little minor inconvenience. Because I- All they did was ask you to tuck your jersey. Yeah. All they did was ask you to put the towel on one side, not the other. What They asked you to pull your socks right. up. So right. why, why, why was that such a problem for you? Because, you know, when you look good, you play good. And <laughs> I wanted to dress the same way I dressed when I was a little shorty. And I wouldn't change in that no matter how much money you took. Oh, from me, not so in other words, the 49ers wanting to be practicing on the field that's going to be similar to what they played on is asking a bit too much. Right. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm just, I'm just giving you a small example on how I feel about it. I don't care if they had, I don't care if they had my black ass out there on motherfucking ice. I'm going to go practice. But I'm just trying to say, but you Sunday. wasn't willing to do that with your uniform, but you expect them to be able to do that at the Super Bowl. Now, now, this wasn't the Super Bowl. They said, Ocho, we need you to correct your uniform. Right, they right, asked right, you right. to do this for a regular game right. or a preseason game, and your mind wouldn't allow you to right. do that because you didn't feel if you changed anything about your mm-hmm. uniform, you couldn't be Ocho. Right. That, that's that's exactly how I feel, and I understand what you're going with it. But I think that's that's apples and oranges. It's, it's kind have you of ever different. seen a fruit basket? It's kind. It's kind of different. Have you ever seen a fruit basket? Huh? <laughs> they put apples and oranges in there, and yeah. pears too sometimes, and some yeah. grapes. Yeah, and some plums, <laughs> and some plums. Yeah, but I, I understand. I understand. What, you know their issue. Obviously, this is the biggest game, and you, you want <laughs> you want everything to be yes. as perfect as possible in your prepar- in your preparation for a game of this magnitude. I'm just saying for me, I ain't really giving a fuck about no goddamn surface, boy. Uh, man, I'm like, uh, man, let's get yeah. this practice I, on, man. Let's get this practice on. Let's now, go, I go, have played on the field, Ocho. We have. Let's not make any, let's not make any excuses. Because if they lose, no, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, no, 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 no. Because once you start playing on it, you, you get acclimated to it. It's less than ideal. Right, Normally right. what we did, Ocho, if right. we had a great, I mean, uh, like we going to play on turf, we might practice Friday yeah. on the turf. But we were saving our legs on right. uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And then Friday, we were practicing right. on turf to get our bodies used to it. Because you don't run routes the same right. way on turf, turf as you do grass. 
So yeah. that was the way that was the way Dan yeah. did it. That's the way Mike did did it uh uh when he got there is that we would get some get some uh um get some turf because that turf different man. Now mm -hmm. they don't have the turf like we used to have back in the day. Nah, nah, Y'all nah, had nah, back nah, then. Nah. Nah, it's nah, we had that concrete. We had we had carpet over concrete. That was a different type of turf. And right. when you left there, you had strawberries, mm -hmm. you had rug burns, your knees hurt, everything Lots hurt. Because that was a pounding. Well, like you said, mm -hmm. you played on concrete. That's exactly what you played on yeah. when you played at the Vet or you played at the Astrodome or you played at some of these stadiums that had turf. That was terrible. Now, in the preseason right. one year, I think it was 2001, that the field was so bad. I don't know if it was called the link then in Philadelphia or it was still uh, the vet stadium, but the stadium was deemed the NFL deemed it unplayable. That's how bad it was. Yeah, it was, really? it was awful. It was awful. Somebody was going to get hurt. Somebody go get hurt. Yeah. yeah. I'm, because that's the, how long, how long, how long before they changed? Well, we didn't play, we didn't play, we didn't play that game. I think they worked some things out because it was, I mean, you would go one place and then there was a divot about that deep. But the carpet was there, so you, I mean, you, uh -huh. somebody was going to get hurt. Somebody was going to get hurt. Right, now, I know right, you right. don't probably remember this, but right. Wendell Davis, he jumped up and caught a pass, and he tore both of his, uh, I think he's from Chicago. He ended up tearing both of his ACLs. Uh -huh. No, he ripped both of his patellas, not his ACLs. He jumped up the car At the same and, time? And tore both of his patella tendons at the vet. Well, that's, that's crazy. And, yeah, and I never heard that, needless but... to say, his career that. was over. So I, mm. I, I agree. I understand um, in situations like that, sometimes you can you can mentally create a ghost that's really not there. Uh, I understand what you're used to. And I, I, if I was re if I was reading correctly, Ocho, the grass was grown in. They had robotics and they've been this this grass here has been monitored and, and, and it's supposed to be special. Right, right, and it's right. being flown in, mm -hmm. especially for the Super right. Bowl. Now mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting. I don't think they're going to have. I don't know. I don't think uh, a legion has a retractable roof. It's not like SoFi um, or or Arizona. You remember Arizona has a retractable also. So it was a little slick because right. you remember guys were slipping uh, early uh, uh, early mm -hmm. uh, uh, last year in the game, uh, and and, it, and huh? yeah, it's done. It is so it's not retractable, right? Okay, it's not retractable. But uh, look, it's you made it this far. And, and I don't believe the field is going to determine who's going to win this ball game. No, no. But again, when you, when something like this happens, somebody makes an not an excuse. Somebody right. has a gripe about something. Yeah. A team itself. I guarantee you, if things don't work out come game time, somebody is going to say, "Well, you know what? We were at a disadvantage because when we when it was time to practice, we we didn't have the field, the adequate." surface playing surface similar to that that will right. be on sunday to work with during the week i guarantee you always they will find yeah. something I always mean, it, that's why the, i don't even, I don't, I don't even like the fact that somebody even I think said anything. Thing, I, we were very fortunate ocho because when we when we played we got the chargers facility which was in la jolla which was right amazing we got the dolphins facility Beautiful, which was huh? in davy which was amazing Am but but amazing. when we when yeah. we went to the super bowl in tampa uh, the Giants got the Bucks facility, and we got South Florida right. facility. So you uh, you can understand that the difference in between an NFL facility right. and a college facility, and a, especially yes. back then. Now we well, if we, we talk about, about Alabama or, or Michigan or, or Ohio State, U.S. something like that, okay, right. fine. But when you talk about <laughs> you talk about South Florida, Ocho, they ain't got no hundred million dollar athletic yeah. budget. <laughs> so, right, right, but right. look, it didn't matter. We could have played. We could have played them joker in, in a lake. They weren't good. The Giants wasn't gonna yeah. beat that deep. Wasn't gonna score on that defense. You see that? See you see the attitude yeah. you have though. You see that yeah. mindset you have. Like that's the mindset I, I, that I would I would love for all right. players to have. I would love for whoever the captains are for the four nines to say whoever's whatever officials or personnel with the four nines that complain about a field. I would love Fred Warner to stand up, man, man. Man, fuck that, right. man. We got work to do. Man, let's get mm -hmm. out here and get this work done. You care about no goddamn field. You know what we been through to even get to this point? Forget just the NFL, just in general, the playing conditions, the obstacles that we had to overcome to get here. You think we crying about some goddamn field? Man, blow the whistle, man. Let's work. I'm just that's just again my mentality and my mindset. I just hate it when it was raining. 
Got I show sure, I was sure deal. hoping that Mike would that coach you sometime would call practice off when it started raining, but that never happened. <laughs> never. <laughs> or when never. it was snowing, or when it was cold, I'd be like, damn, it's cold out here. But I will say this when it got really, really cold in Baltimore, uh, uh Ocho, Brian Billick had heated seats out there for us. So why the off, yeah. yeah. So why the defense on them, if it's number one defense and it's going against the scout team offense, the start no on the heat, hot seats, just like he was at a game. <laughs> Mike Shannon ain't worth playing that bull. Jay Reed worth playing that bull, John. Man, you had to. I'm talking about this cold. Now, you know it get cold in Denver now. Get real cold. And the snow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And guess what? Offensive linemen, all of them always went out in shorts, no matter how cold it was. Hey, did, did your yeah. lineman do that too? What about with no sleeves? On game day, they had no, no, you could no wear sleeves. Wore sleeves. No, no sleeves. Yeah, I, I never, I, I never, I never understood that. Now I didn't wear sleeves when it was cold because I, I needed to be nah, able to feel I ain't the want ball hold up against me. I ain't want the jokers uh, holding because you know they gonna hold that something for them to grab onto. Oh yeah, you, 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 you ain't got no choice, yeah. especially when it's cold. And, and if you plan on yep. a, a slick surface, you always want that advantage right. of being able to grab to be able to yep. maintain your leverage. And so, like even when I put on when I put on Vaseline, I never put it all the way. I, I just yep. put it on the outside of my arms. Because I was gonna have the ball right. inside. Right. The last thing I need is to have that thing right, right, slip right. out. So the Vaseline only went on. Yep, yep. I never put it on. You always had somebody, mm -hmm. the equipment guy, put it on for you. But he never put right. it, never, never went above, you know, on the sides or up underneath. And I didn't, you know, and right. I didn't really. I just wore a cut off, and I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't wear a, a, a bunch of clothes. No, I did I too. Feel restricted, I did too. Huh? I feel restricted. I hate that. I hate the feeling of being of feeling restricted. Another, it's a crazy thing. People laughing at me. I tweeted. I'm I'm off topic just a tad bit. The uh, to give you a little 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 tidbit on how weird I was when it came to playing. Yeah. I was Reebok during my day. Right. I had Reebok take all the insulation mm -hmm. out of my shoe. All the insulation out of my shoe. I didn't want any cushion. I didn't want any ankle support. I didn't want anything. All I wanted was the 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 mm -hmm. The cleat, I want the bottom cleat, and then put the shell around it right. and some shoelaces. So I wanted my shoe, I wanted my cleats to feel like I had a track spike on. I mm -hmm. need to feel the ground. I need to feel the ground. And anytime I wore tape, the tape was just more so for fashion. I hate my, my feet feeling restricted. I need to, to touch the floor and feel it as if I was wearing track spikes. Um, when it came to wearing an undershirt, I ain't yeah. wear nothing. I just put my shoulder pads on, and yeah. then I put my jersey. I had, on. To, I had to, always had I always had to cut had to cut off, and then um you know obviously uh -huh. we gutted our pants. We were one of the first team to wear that wear no pads. I mean most of us had no pads. That I, yeah, yeah, you took they, they, they were like spandex, yeah. Yeah. but I needed to be free. Right, right. And so, the right. Ed, but Ed McCaffrey did exactly what you did. He would cut all the inside out of his shoes, and then you know I, Ed, Eddie Eddie yeah, uh, Eddie's I, I shoulder pads were smaller than the kickers. His pads were like this. Way. Yeah, his shoulder hey, was out. Yeah, hey, his arms. <laughs> yeah, his arms. Man, he was yoked up. Man, that's the one thing I I remember. Ed McCaffrey having them big ass arms, yeah. with them little ass shoulder pads. Like, um, is yeah. it Martellus Bennett? Yeah. They used yeah. to do that. Yeah, remember Martellus yeah. Bennett shoulder pads? Like yeah. he had on some little yeah. high school that's how, shoulder that's pads. That's how Ed was because I, I needed to be the first person that I ever saw wear no pants in their pants was Ricky Jackson. So I want to give Ricky Jack credit credit because we stole it from him. He was the first person that I ever saw mm. that had no pads, no thigh pads, no hip pads, no knee pads. Right. And I it looked so mm. cool. Mm. And then I'm like, man. So we started, I was like, hey, because you know, you can get Ed McCaffrey to do anything. I said, Ed, I think we'd be light if we did it. He's like, you think so? You think so, mm -hmm. Sharpie? I was like, yeah. So Ed and I gutted it. And then everybody else started gutting their pants. And hell, Frank Gore took it to another level. Right. He a running back with no thigh, with no thigh and knee pads. Yeah. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Nothing. Hold on. And then had and then had his pants all the way up yes. above his knee at that. With no ankles, with no <laughs> tape on his ankles, just out there, just out there balling. Oh, nothing. I said, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. But uh yeah, uh so hopefully everything has been resolved. I'm sure the 49ers have had a conversation with the NFL. The NFL has gotten the field up to playing conditions, what's adequate for those guys. And so right. to the to the uh <clears throat> on Sunday, hopefully everybody's in the right frame of mind to go out there and give the uh give the uh the viewing public, one of the best shows. Uh, Patrick Mahomes says that oh, yeah. he's not even halfway close to being compared to Brady. Mahomes told reporters tonight that he didn't think he was even close to halfway 
what Brady has accomplished in the NFL. The goal is to be the best player you can. I've been blessed to have a lot of great players around me, and now is doing whatever I can to beat the, uh, a great 49ers team and try to get a third ring. You ask me the question like 15 years, and I'll see if I can get uh, close to seven. Seven seems like a long ways away. Does Mahomes need seven rings to be the GOAT? I mean, when, we, when you think about it, I think what he's done so far, there's a reason he's Correct. even in the conversation because of what he's been able to do in such a short amount of time. Now, if they're able to keep that team together, obviously the pieces are going to change at time due to due to money and, and players wanting to leave due to the success that they're going to have. But with Andy Reid and knowing that the offensive mind that he has and the ability to draft, the ability to attract free agents because Patrick Mahomes is there, they will always be able to continue to have uh, success offensively and defensively. So I think there's a chance that this can continue. And I think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to have the exact same type of run with Patrick Mahomes and Andy, Andy Reid being together that Bill Belichick and Tom Brady had. I think they're going to have the same, the same exact type of run. I would really like it even more so if Trav was in year six as opposed to year 11 or 12. Ooh. Because yeah, right, the like, right, right. uh, you look at Mahomes in year seven, how many more years you think Trav is going to be able to play at the level that he's playing at? Um, and so at some right. point in time, he, he eventually will start to slow down. Now, to be able to try to replace him, because think about it, Brady won, won, won some Super Bowls, uh, and this is not a knock on him, Christian Fourier, he had uh, Wiggins, he had a couple of guys that wasn't Gronk, but he did have right. Gronk right. from, you know, when he started winning the, the second half, 2014, stuff like right. that, they went in against the Rams, uh, they went it against the uh, the Legion of Boom, he goes to Tampa, so it, it I, right. But for me personally, I don't think he needs seven to become the GOAT. I don't. No. no? You don't think so? Because I think the thing is, is that we got to look at the total body of work. What he would, right. excuse me, what Tom was able to do is that Tom got all the records. So let's just mm -hmm. say for the sake of argument, Mahomes gets five, but he has more passing yards, right. more passing touchdowns. More regular season MVP. Okay. Right. Because it can't be most rings. Because people say Jordan is the GOAT and he doesn't have the most rings. He doesn't have the most regular season MVP. He doesn't have the most points. He doesn't have the most rebounds. He doesn't have the most assists. He doesn't have the most blocks. He doesn't have the most steals. So it can't be just the quality of, but right. it's the total. The people believe Jordan is the GOAT because you look at, okay, MVPs in the, in the postseason, he has six. MVPs in the regular season, he has five. And his level of play. Right. Well, so if you look at Patrick Mahomes, there is a chance that he might be five for five also. He might he might only win five Super Bowls. But the likelihood of someone else right. being the MVP isn't very good. Now it could happen. Isaiah Pacheco mm -hmm. might have one of those, one of those uh, uh Ricky Smith type days, and he goes for 200 plus yards. But even when Smith ran for 200 right. yards, Doug Williams was the MVP because he had over 300 and threw for four touchdowns. Because it's still it's passing, still a passing right. league. Now, the likelihood of a running back, when was the last time a running back won the MVP in, in the Super Bowl? You got to go back. Oh, TD? Maybe was it TD? In 97? I'm trying to think of another running back that won it. Because when Willie oh. Parker had that day, Heinz Ward won the MVP. Won MVP, So I'm trying yeah, to figure out. I, I think his TD might have been the last running back to win the MVP. In the a Super Bowl MVP. Yeah, not probably. Really. It was TD. Think about it. That's that's 25. That's 20. Yeah. 26 years ago. Five uh, years ago. Yeah, you got to have a hell of a performance as a running back to actually get that to get yeah. that award. Yeah, he had 157 and three TDs and he missed a quarter of football. Mm. So, like I said, it's the way they, and the way they've changed changed the rules now, Ocho. It's gonna be yeah. hard for a running unless he unless he goes out there and have a Derrick Henry a 250 yard game, it's mm. gonna be hard for a running mm. back to win the MVP. I, uh, uh, listen. You and obviously you didn't have these not that style of back, but if you that type of back, if Pacheco was that type of back that can hit his head off the goalpost from anywhere on the field, like yeah. a Chris Johnson oh. type. Christian like, McCaffrey's in play though, Ocho. Boy. Christian McCaffrey's in play because huh? he can run it and catch it. He's definitely in oh, play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's oh, yeah. definitely, definitely in play for Super Bowl definitely. MVP. Now, I, I believe he passed mm -hmm. probably the third best odds behind Mahomes. 
Purdy and and, and he's next. If any running back is right. gonna win it, the best chance is it gonna be this year with C Mac because he can do it all. He can have a hundred yards rushing, yeah. he can have a hundred yards receiving, and he's a touchdown machine. So mm-hmm. if anybody if, if yeah. anybody's gonna if any running back is gonna do what the last person to do what T D did for the Broncos in Super Bowl yeah. 32, it would be it's him. gonna be C Mac. Yeah, I'm glad he's so, so versatile. versatile. So versatile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mooney Ward spoke about handling this week before the Super Bowl. He said, well, the Super Bowl is in Vegas, so it might turn up a little bit the first day or two uh, two out there. But after that, it's really just focused. Who is he playing for? What? Oh, I don't, I don't know him. The whole week is really like a movie. You're going to see celebrities everywhere. No, you're not. You do understand. And this is what we told, <laughs> this is what we told the guys. Hold on. You do realize the festivities right, right. is for the people that's coming to the Super Bowl. Right. The game is for you. That's the only thing for not you is the Super Bowl game. Not, not, right. not the re- You yeah. said pregame, yeah. you might see Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kevin Hart. You probably will. But still, the game, at the end of the day, we still got to go out there and try to win, especially the Super Bowl. You know that you don't want to F that up in the Super Bowl. And and that's it. Mm. All the festivities that's going on and everybody's going to be having these parties. And you mm. know, first of all, you know what Vegas represents minus the Super Bowl. So now you bring the Super right. Bowl, the biggest event in North America, the biggest sporting event in North America. So basically you got a 5X, oh, yeah. 6X, 7X exit. The Super yeah. Bowl in Vegas. You know what the Super Bowl is like in Miami. You know what the Super Bowl is like in New Orleans. You know what the Super Bowl is like in different places. Mm-hmm. Now add Vegas to the mix. Right. So you already know it's going its own one. Yeah. Most definitely, but it ain't for you. Most definitely, so <laughs> it ain't yeah, for at you. all. I mean, I think I think you know that. I think what the first two days they they get to yeah. Enjoy we got right? down there the on a, two days, I mean, right? We got down on a Sunday. We had curfew at one o'clock, mm. so we got curfew at one o'clock, right. and then we got that Sunday. So you had curfew at one o'clock Sunday. You had I think at like eleven thirty, maybe midnight on Monday, and then you was on a regular schedule. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that. Yeah, Wednesday on Wednesday. Yeah, okay, okay, because okay, yeah, I I, I think oh, you know, money ward that Trav- haven't been there. Trav- Travarius Ward. Oh, I was like, who the hell? Why didn't you just put his name in there anyway? Man, don't nobody call. Man, call it okay. But when we doing it, you got to understand, Ash. We 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 speaking to people at home that's not his teammates, and that's what I have to you know, like I'm saying, right, right, we right. call people by their nickname because everybody on the team got a nickname, Ocho, and people are like, well, who you talk? Like, oh. Yeah, I, I, I like, you know what. I, I didn't, didn't know who you was talking about. I didn't know who you were talking about because you didn't say you didn't yeah, say Travarius Ward. So I, that's what I'm saying. Like Money Ward. Who oh, is Money Ward? Travarius. Oh, that's, yeah. that's his nickname. That's what everybody called him. Who okay. everybody on the team might call him okay. that. Media yeah. called him that. I ain't know. Oh Lord, have mercy. Listen, yeah, shit. The way the way he been got there, he, he can go ahead and enjoy himself. He definitely been balling out of his mind. He can enjoy himself. But yeah, that's that's the thing, Ocho. I think the thing is, you go ahead and you get it out your system. Um, I don't know. Right. Um, I'm trying to think because they're out, they're out, they're off the strip, and so the NFL got these. They got these resorts that's really, really nice, that's inclusive, and so yeah. hey, mm-hmm. uh, I don't think the NFL really want those players, the 49ers and the Chiefs. Coming to the strips and, and 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 doing anything. I don't care if you just play a little five dollar hand or blackjack or anything else. They don't want any cross mm-hmm. cross contamination. So they're probably advising right. them. Maybe maybe they got a little situation set up at their hotel. You can play blackjack. You can yeah. play roulette. You can play craps. You got a couple of slot machines. You can do all the stuff that you would normally do on the strip, but you just do it here. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Y'all. I don't, I don't know. I don't, that that even 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 if you have all those amenities for them. Yeah. At your hotel, you know the boys getting out. You mm-hmm. know them boys getting out. They getting out until it's time. Especially them first two days. The yeah. first the first two days or whatever. However the schedule may be. If you're getting there early. Yeah. The, everybody I got think, the to got me, I'm yesterday. thinking if you got, got it on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. So I know Monday we'll have a date. Maybe you have well, Tuesday you do off. Not, but you got to take right? your pictures. I, That's your media day. Because see, normally, Ocho, Tuesday was the day, was the media day. So that's when you put your right. uniform on. You got your little, you got your uh, NFL, your mm-hmm. Super Bowl patches, and you go out there, you talk to the media, Patch, right. and that's when you take your Super Bowl picture. But now, 
the media aspect is out of the way because they make that a big event. And so now you just right. go out there uh, Tuesday. I don't know. Maybe you have a walkthrough or something. Um, and uh, you go, you know, you you do what you need. to. I think we had a walkthrough on Monday. Yeah. I'm trying to think. We might have had a walkthrough. Man, that's been so damn long ago. But but normally, Ocho, yeah, you, you know, just go. That you know, walkthrough you... ain't nothing but, that, that walk ain't nothing but an hour, too, okay. now. I don't know who told you. I don't know who ain't told you what a walkthrough was. But our walkthrough was no joke. I walked through, hey, right. ain't no, I don't know who turned it, turned it that, but they needed to call ours a run through. Because mm -hmm. Mike Shanahan didn't play. Oh, they y'all be, y'all be moving, huh? This is how we knew. We played Green Bay and we played Atlanta. Right. The first two days, the ball didn't hit the dirt. <laughs> y'all boy were locked in. What we did, I don't know. Look, I'm thinking like West Coast and I can speak. West Coast, we put our play, we put everything in the week before. So once right. we got to the location, mm -hmm. it's dress rehearsal. You, yeah, fast, so you know yeah, it. Fast tempo. Now you might add yeah. a play here or there and uh, uh, come up with a specialty play. Mm -hmm. You might add one play for uh, right. uh, third and one to three, or you might have a, a little gadget play. You right. might add something. But all the, the heavy lifting is done back home. Right. So when we, hey, so when we hit that field, on, on Wednesday to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It smooth sailing. Mike didn't have to Mike ain't have to say vision. nothing. Brian didn't have to right. say nothing. Because we did the same thing. We put the thing in in Baltimore. We put the we put the game plan in the week before the week before we mm -hmm. left. And so when we got there, it was just like boom, 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 boom. And then you right. watch and you okay. watch that defense. How I'm like, Lord, have mercy. I said, boy, I felt sorry for Tiki now. <laughs> I did, Ocho. I felt bad. Man, if you yeah. saw if you saw the way Raiden was hunting in practice. I yeah. Said, hey, they 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 be throwing nah, up. We didn't throw it up. Then? We didn't throw it up. We, oh, no, 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 no. No, but you could sell, you could tell the way they was focused. They was on everything. Every play, guys was where they were supposed to be. I mean, hey, it wasn't no right. everything was contested without putting somebody on the ground. When they try to run a comeback, uh, mm -hmm. starts, we call them heavy. Hit there. C Mac yeah. there. The A. Right. They try to run a seven route. The one thing, Corey Harris is one of the mm -hmm. best guys I've ever seen at playing the seven route. He automatically, mm -hmm. right. if, like if he got a whole safety, you can nod all you want to to the mm -hmm. phone. He ain't going. He running to the seven. Now, if you run, if you if you run a cross route, you got it. But he ain't bite that. Yeah. He ain't bite that 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 nod to the pole. He, he up under that seven, mm -hmm. and you what? Yeah, and you know these stars. You know, you know these stars is my quarterback at, at Beach High, and, and my it? freshman year in high school. Yeah, and the, so Samari, Samari yeah. was the other receiver, and then when these stars left, and Samari was a quarterback, and Samari Rowe was y'all uh, and y'all didn't win no state championship, did you? Nah. I, well, I mean, y'all what? So what? All we, that talent? What y'all do with all that talent? We was good though. Matter of fact, you know who else was there? I just forgot. Terry yeah, Cousins. Remember Terry Cousins? And y'all didn't win no state yeah, championship? Terry was on, we, we, but it was all on the and same team. That's that what I asked you. I know y'all on the same team. You told me that at Beach High School in Miami. Did you win a state championship? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, I, sir. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, was, we was good, yeah. though. We was good, man. We was we was excited to see. Yeah. Man. But that that's the thing. I mean, Ocho, do you understand why you're there? Because they're going to chronicle this now. This, hey, if mm -hmm. you go back, this is Super Bowl 58. Somebody yeah. got to lose this game. Now, they're going to have three people that's going to oh, talk yeah. about it and what it was like to go through the season. The ups, the downs, the highs, mm -hmm. the lows, and the win. I don't know if, I don't know if they chronicle yeah. Super Bowl. I don't know if they have a talk to uh, three players on the losing team. And it was, it was fortunate. Unfortunate. It was fortunate for us. We won. As opposed to you kind of leave at the same time. And you see all the buses pull mm -hmm. up on on um at the airport, and pull up, and you know the guys gonna get off the plane, and you see them guys holding their head right. down, and we up there laughing and joking yeah. and talking and carried on talking loud, <laughs> right? <laughs> and they look at they ain't, they ain't Ocho. Feeling. I was like, man, I don't never want to feel like that. Ooh, thank you, knock on wood, man. God bless me. I went three times, and got all three of them, because I can just imagine. I ain't look. Yeah, we I ain't all, no, I don't know how you feel about this, Ocho, but I tell people this all the time. Mm -mm. Losing hurts more than winning feel good. 
and you will always remember the losses more than you went will remember the wins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, I, I've done, I've done, I've been through a lot of losing, you know, during my career, obviously being in Cincinnati, uh, to master losing. I, I try to, to make it as fun and entertaining as possible, even though we were losing. Um, we had a great year, my 2005 season. Obviously, we, we went 11 and 5 that year. Uh, and obviously, Carson went down with that that hit, you know, by the chemo. tackle with the Steelers at that time on the first play of the game. Yeah, chemo. Um, other than that, everything was was decent. I go to the Patriots. Um, I didn't really contribute the way I'd, I would have liked to, you know, that year, but we won. Uh, we, and we won consistently. And, and getting to that Super Bowl and playing against the Giants and that feeling, you know, after losing – it was bad. You know, it, it, it was bad for me. For one, I'm not contributing the way I want to. And then on top of that, yeah. we lost the game. So right. it was the double And that whammy. was the second time in as many years that they had just lost. They lost to the Giants in 2007, and they turned around and lose to the Giants in mm. 2018. Yeah, it's something about the Giants. I don't know what it was about them that what they just they had. Could get out, they could get after your quarterback without defense. sacrificing their back end. Bingo. And it's, it comes down to plays. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tom sees the whole safety. He tries to throw it to West's back shoulder. West doesn't doesn't open his yeah. hip fully all around. He drops it because if he gets that, that's a first down. The ball game's over. Mm -hmm. Over. But yeah. then, you, you remember, I absolutely you remember, the play, remember the play, huh? and I understand why Tom yeah. Brady threw it behind mm -hmm. him because he's worried about West getting blown mm -hmm. up by that whole safety. Blow it up. Oh yeah, he was yeah, sitting he right blow there. Blow his ass up. <laughs> it, but see that. Mm -hmm. But see Ocho, that's the thing. As I analyze. You and I, we played the game. And so you understand why right. quarterbacks do certain things. See, when John would put the ball, mm -hmm. like if I'm facing John, let's just say we call it a short cross. Some people call it a wall route. If John put the ball between the mm -hmm. eight and the four, he's telling me, Shannon, get up in your shadow. Mm -hmm. They're coming from both sides, just turn and get straight up the field. Yeah. If he put it on one side or the yeah. other, he's telling me go to that side because he can see what I can't. Right. So he's telling me, if right. he put it here, I'm turning there. If he puts it here, I'm turning there. Right. If he puts it in my chest, way, I'm getting yeah. right. I'm getting up in my shadow. Now, I'm gonna feel some type of way if he put it here and I turn there and do <laughs> and you do clean my damn clock. You damn right. And you go, you right, know, hey, right. I'm gonna be looking at him side like yeah. my bad teeth. Okay, but I'm saying you. Are, so you understand that. So when and look, Wes, being who he is, he wasn't a, a undrafted mm -hmm. player. He wasn't a rookie player. Wes Welker was one of the best. And so that's a catch mm -hmm. that you really expect him to make. But yeah. I understood full well why Tom put it on his back shoulder. That safety was going to clean his clock. Mm -hmm. And Tom is very conscious of not putting his receivers in harm's way. He's spoken about that, way. about yeah. why he would throw ball, certain balls certain ways because he didn't want the guy to get knocked out of the game. But right. uh, Wes couldn't come down with the ball. They have to punt. And then Eli makes two incredible throws. Throws that many ham on the sideline. Many ham side, side line catch. <coughs> you can't. You you can't do. You that can't, was a good. That was a good grab. You can't do it. You can't do it any better than that. So, Ocho, yeah. check yeah. this out. The Commanders hire Cliff Kingsbury. Fire Eric Bieniemy. I don't think any surprise that Eric Bieniemy was fired. Commanders fired Eric Bieniemy after one season with the team. Right. Quinn said he delivered the news to be enemy in person today. We won't work together here, but I wanted him to know I really respect the work he's done. I wish him nothing but the best. They also hired Cliff Kingsbury yesterday, and people are speculating that Washington could move up to two since Cliff worked with Caleb at USC, and Caleb is from D.C. Yeah. It's, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, it, when you want somebody bad enough, you will find a way to get up there and get him, especially when it comes to a quarterback of that magnitude who has the opportunity, I think, to actually change that franchise around. When I think about him going two, well, who the hell is going number one? No. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't unless they know something we don't. I think they need to move up to one yeah. in order to assure they get Caleb I'm, Williams. That's gonna well, take a gonna king's have, ransom. Had to give up a heap. Yeah, boy, I, you're gonna have to give up. Oh, it, it's gonna take that. at least three ones. Cause look at look at what San Francisco gave up. But San Francisco, it, uh, San Francisco didn't have to go from twelve to three. 
But you're still gonna have to right. give up three ones. You're gonna have to give up a a, so, yeah. a, a two, a couple of threes. Oh, you're gonna have to give it up. Mm-hmm. Hey, but yeah, if some, you be- yeah, but if definitely. you believe he's the guy, Kansas mm-hmm. City people look like man, they stole Patrick Mahomes now, even though they gave up three ones, a two, and a three. Right, right. And that's and just that the the hiring of Mister of Cliff. I, I always think about it. When you look at his resume, it's not one that jumps off the charts at you. Like you know what, this is someone that we need in the building. This is someone that can help us from a coaching standpoint. He and, always fails up. I ain't never seen players. nobody fail up, fall, fall up as much as he did. And I think, you know, he got the job based on relationships, obviously, and the people he know. And when it comes to the coaching tree, the coaching umbrella and the coaching family, there will always be someone under that umbrella that will be willing to give you a job based mm-hmm. on who you know. That's what that's what it all comes down to. It always, it always comes down to who Ocho, you know. What you that's know. what I tell people. This is what I've learned since I've been on the business side. It's not about how much. It's mm-hmm. not about your education. It's about relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I read somewhere yeah. like 80% of the jobs that get filled don't get posted. Hey, Ocho, you know we hiring yeah. over here. Hey, Ash, what, what, weren't you looking for a job? Hey, they hiring over here. Hey, I'll put, you, I'll put a word right. in for you. You see yeah, how that work, Ojo? It's all time. about it's all every about time. relationships. When they say it's not about what you know, <laughs> it's who you know. That is one thousand. Who you know? One thousand percent. That's why it's very important. That's why it's very, very important, very imperative. Even those that are in the chat that are watching, it's imperative that you don't burn bridges. It's imperative that you don't burn bridges because you never know who you might meet and be mm-hmm. rude to in life. That mm-hmm. later on down the road. They might they might not be the exact person you need, but that might they might be the bridge of somebody else that can say, yeah, you know what? I know so and so, good dude. So if you think about hiring them, think about hiring her. Yep, that's the route to go. Man, I I, I ain't really that's never worked with Ocho, but man, I heard nothing but good things about it. And last I, last, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had a buddy that worked with him. Say, man, he a really hard worker, on time, don't cause mm-hmm. any problems. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah. They don't, but he do curse. He curse. He curse too much. That's about it. <laughs> so yeah, because if you remember, think about it. Cliff got the job. Why? Because he worked with who did he work with? No, Caleb. Uh, he coached uh, Kyler. Remember Kyler Murray in Wait. Arizona? Oh, they, okay, 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 okay. I thought I thought you talk about didn't um, he coach? Did he, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I that's I don't know, man. What don't you know? I, I I'm how to look at the resume. Look at the, the difference in resumes. How do you not retain and bring back the enemy based on what he's accomplished? So well, far if you look at it, Ocho, Ocho, if you how? look at it, if you look at Washington stats the previous year, they were down with the enemy. So it's not like you say, well, hey. We were the fourth best offense. We scored the seventh most points. We had the this most first downs. I mean, so so what 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 are we hiring him based on? Not, I'll say, well, what do you what are you hiring Cliff? I I, Cliff I, I get it, Ocho, but you're asking some you're asking someone to hire someone, and right. that look, I get it. I took Cliff Kingsbury have fallen up a lot, mm-hmm. but. And that's why yeah. I said Eric B. Enemy should have stayed his ass in Kansas City. He won the he wants the opportunity. I'm not going to, to Washington. Pizza. Rivera was gonna get fired. Sam Howell is not gonna win you enough games to keep that job, Ocho. You gotta survey the land. You gotta right. un- hey, read the temperature, Ocho. Read the temperature. Yeah. I mean, I heard in all season before the season started, this 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 season right here, they said Sam Howell was the guy. They said Sam Howell was the if guy he, based on how he played. If he's the if season. he's the answer, what's the question you're asking? The quarterback, who's who's going to be the starting <laughs> quarterback for the Washington Football Team or the Commanders? If that's the question, if that's the answer yes, that sir. you gave, okay, that's a perfect logically that's a perfect logic logical question. Anything outside of that, right. Sam Howell is not the answer. And Eric yeah, Bieniemy, he should have known you. that. 
I'm going to stay my butt right there. And now look at it, Ocho. Now you got Kansas City back in the Super Bowl again. How about this? Knowing Andy Reid, does Andy Reid bring Eric Bean and me back? So they can he work might, probably will. And probably go probably go and go for yeah. fourth one next year. Hell, and maybe go for a fifth red, one. The red, year after that. One thing about Red, now Red, 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 you know, he good people. Yeah. I, I yeah. like Red. He very yeah. matter of fact. You know where you stand with Red. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think the enemy. He will be. He he'll be there next year. He will be there. I don't think Andy Reid would leave him out like that. I just I just hate to see a coach that has had success with two. You know, winning two Super Bowls just just out on the street like that with other <coughs> coaches that aren't proven or getting yes, jobs. Yes, I agree, Ocho. I agree, but. I have to understand. Now, think about it, Ocho. I'm struggling getting interviews. And I don't, like I said, I don't know what happened. Everybody say he's not interviewing well. I mean, it's hard to, like, how does somebody not interview well? This is the system I implement. These are some of the coaches I'm looking at hired to fill the position. This is the defensive coordinator. This is the offensive right. coordinator. This is my game plan. This is how I like to practice during the course of the week. These are my meeting times. This is the lifting time. I like to travel mm -hmm. at this time. I like to leave at this, yada, yada, yada. Right. Kind of, that that can't be that hard, and especially after you do it mm -hmm. several times, you should get better at it each and every time because you kind of know what the questions they're going to ask. But I just, I, I I don't I don't I don't I don't get. I me personally, I'm not taking that job. Right. Why am I? Hold on, Ocho. Check this out. Now, he's already on thin ice. I'm on. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm on the shore. Why right. would I go join somebody on thin ice and I'm perfectly fine over here? Because now right. look at all the coaches. Yeah. They got jobs. Look at uh the black coaches that got jobs. Raheem Morris. Uh who it? me uh, uh yeah. Uh AP got a job. Uh 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 Pierce in Oakland, yeah. Gerard Mayo got a job. Now, Gerard Mayo mm -hmm. and, and AP situation was a little unique. Um uh um, AP yeah. was the interim. Played extremely well. We knew that seemed to be a foregone conclusion. It seems to me that Coach right. Belichick, that uh, Mr. Kraft already had a succession plan already in place. That when Coach Belichick left, place, Mayo right. was going to take over. He liked what he stood right. for. He liked the man that he had. He watched him grow. Um, but I'm not. I'm not. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm. I, I wish. I wish the situation with Eric would be enemy. Would be would have been similar to that of Antonio Pierce with the Las Vegas Raiders, with the players vouching for him publicly. You know, even Matt Crosby going even to the extent of saying, "Listen, if we don't bring AP in or bring him back as our head coach, I'm wow. asking for a trade." Huh? You know, and I think if if Bienemy was that type of coach, and I see him as a players' coach, I'm I'm not sure. The only rumblings or or anything negative I heard about him obviously came from Shady McCoy. Uh, and I guess their exchange and and the way he coached him was wasn't he didn't see fit on 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 how he how he did him. Mean, that's the only you know, well, bad I, thing I've ever heard. And, and remember Tyreek so, because he said something because uh he, uh Shady did comment and 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 uh, Tyreek right. Reek chimed in and said, "Hey, you still mad because he told you to tuck that ball, huh? Because you know Shady McCoy like to hold the ball in one hand. Eb oh, yeah, gonna does, make you tuck does, that ball yeah, because the last thing you want to do is turn right. the ball over in situations like that. Ball over. So, mm -hmm. um, that's what we don't. I wasn't there, so I could I couldn't speculate. Yeah, exactly. uh, Shady has yeah. his reasons why he doesn't believe that Eb has become a head coach yet. I don't know what there are. I haven't right. been in any of those meetings. I haven't heard any ownership group mm -hmm. or anybody that could possibly be in those meetings say anything. So I don't want to speculate either way if you ask me, but yeah. that's what he says. Reports are saying Mike Vrabel didn't work out in Tennessee because he was too large of a human. Diana Rossini reported, I don't think there was a fit for him. I don't think he sat in front of, of any owner who thought of his style was going to work for what they were looking for. I had a GM uh, at the Senior Bowl who mentioned to me Vrabel's physical bill, that he's a very large human being, and that can be very intimidating to people in the organization that's going to be a part of these decisions, and that was and that is a factor. What the hell I got to do? 
Andre the Giant. Did he win game? Rest his soul, Andre. What the hell is someone physical? He was too big, and you know, if they he get mad, he might do something bad to him. He the type of excuse that somebody would come up with. Are the people that run when these organizations? And how would he take you serious? Do you are you do you really no. want to win? Like when you hear stuff like that, you you think about it. Do no. you really want to win games? What part about no? The end or the O didn't you get? Like, come on! Oh, you, oh, we're intimidated by his size. What? I never. I don't heard a lot, about? Ocho. I don't heard a lot. That's the first time I've ever heard something up like that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never, I ain't never heard that one either. Especially not not in the sport that we play. Have you seen some of the linemen yeah. that are even on your team? Whatever GM said that. Have you seen some of the sides of some of the people on the O line, D line? You talk about the, the now, head I've heard, coach is too is physically Yeah, imposing? I've heard that huh? maybe he should lose a. You got coaches should lose a few pounds, or he should you know groom himself a little better. I've heard things like that, but oh. physically imposing. Can the guy coach? Excuses. <laughs> Excuses. Listen, I, I thought they only did players like nah. that. Well, clearly, I guess I guess not. I mean, that's crazy. I, I thought I thought Brabel. I, I think he's gonna get another chance to coach again. Yeah, he'll get another shot. Well, if if, if I'm sure he's gonna get a shot at some point. Uh, what about Bill? The question is, the, the, I mean, can, Ocho, Coach Belichick is in his seventies. The question is that I think general managers and, and owners are having. Does his message right. still resonate with these young players when you don't have a Tom Brady in the locker room that can control everything? Right. Because guys might want to be mutiny, and Tom said, hey, guys, don't worry about that. We got this. We're going to win the game regardless. Right. So unless you have right. a Tom Brady or you have a guy the equivalent of that, say a Patrick Mahomes, mm -hmm. is mm – -hmm. Yeah, kind of iffy. I always wonder if it would be even even with Belichick being in his seventies. Do you? I wonder if he can adapt to today's era, adapt to today's yes. younger kids as far as coaching style. Kind of, kind of manipulate his coaching style a little bit to fit, you know, today's kids. You know, as opposed to you know, I think some of the same some of the stuff he did during his day really wouldn't work or resonate with the young kids in today's. Today's era. I'm, I'm I'm just curious about that because it seemed like most of the coaches or most of the the decision makers yeah. are going younger. You know, as far as head coaches are, 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 the, are concerned, the, these young kids are different now, Ojo. And and that, I, I think for me, yeah. I am glad I did I didn't play in this era because I take it. I'm, I'm too serious about it. I don't care about no cars. I don't right, care about right, no right. jewelry. I don't care about how many chicks you got. I ain't got nothing to do with me. Can you help me win? Right. Yeah. Can, that's yeah. all I need to know. Are you meeting? Are you are you ready to play? Are you practicing hard? Are you doing what you need to do to help me win games? That's all I cared about. I didn't come. Right. I didn't come to make friends. And so that that's my thing, Ocho. I, I'm I'm very matter of fact in, in, in why I'm here. And I think that's why coaches like me because there was never man, man. I wonder. I wonder if Shannon's prepared. I wonder if he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Coaches never had to worry about that. Right. My my college coach told me right. say if I had if I had fifty Shannon Sharps because I told him he said hey he he called me too he said two you ready I said coach this was my sophomore year like like first game of my sophomore year I said coach you ain't never got to worry <laughs> about me getting ready I said get them other fifty guys ready right I'm gonna show up for you every mm -hmm. never had a problem Mike never you know hey right. Mike would always tell me go back and look up out hey eighty four get them going. That was my job. I, he let me. He let me be me. As far as practice, you know, I'm right. loose, Ocho. We got the Soul Train thing coming down. But oh, <laughs> oh, you gonna do? Hey, you? Because here's the thing. Because Mike looking at me sideways. So if you you mess up a play at walkthrough, now we gonna have to stay out there longer. And so now I'm feeling some mm -hmm. type of way. Because I remember when you was bull right. driving shooting basketball. I remember when you was bull driving on your mm -hmm. phone. So now I got to talk to you. I right. got to have a conversation with you. Because you messing up the church's money. Mm. Uh, oh, 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 That's oh, so this thing, this thing for real. Right. Like you couldn't come in Club Shay Shay. Like we had Club Shay Shay. Okay, guys could drink. 
guys, you know, hey, smoke, you know, we play, they play video games, we rolling dice, we playing cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. normally, we don't let rookies come in there. But you know, we, hey, Clinton Porter, some of the guys, don't F up. Because you F up and you come back up there, I'm going to slam the door in your face and put my foot in your ass. Right. <laughs> it's really, it, Ocho, it's really that simple. Man, don't know. No, right. no, no, no. Study your playbook. Hey, man, let me come up to Club Shake. Your hell no. Nah. You bust three plays today. You ain't going nowhere. You need to be in your playbook. Don't worry about Club Shay Shay. Right. Ocho, I'm about winning, Ocho. That's a privilege. Yeah, Absolutely. As long as you long as you're on point. As long as you're on point. And so, you know, we be Ocho, we used to gamble on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, you know, them boys play space. We play we playing Boo play, Ray. Play we playing, we playing uh uh they playing Boo Ray. We rolling dice. Okay, you know, we got sponsors mm -hmm. at the front of the plane. They got to go to the bathroom. They see us, they yeah. mention something to Mike. Mike's an 80, hey, 84. Um, I, you know, I don't mind you guys gambling. Um, but if you're gonna right. gamble, don't have the money out. I say, Mike, money out of sight calls a fight. I say, we might as well scrap this and wait till we get to the hotel room. Right. Because I'll be damned if y'all not right. gonna talk about, okay, I owe you. I that no, hell no, nah, I need to see the money on the wood. So when Mike right, said right, 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 no right. more gambling, hey, no gambling. Okay. I shut it down. Hey, we ain't gambling. Now, come playoff time. Hey, Mike, you hey, you know, yeah. hey, 84. Do what y'all do back there, okay? Right. That's what right. that's what we do. That's what we do. But my thing was, I was an extension of Mike because a lot of times, Ocho, we handle situ situations in the locker room before they got the mic. Mm -hmm. That's what leaders do. Right. You don't wait till things get out mm -hmm. of control and then you go take it to Mike. You suppress it before he has to ever hear about it. There are a lot of things that went on in that locker right. room. Right. Mike had no idea. Idea, yeah. But that what is, are your leaders crazy. for? You think you're just a leader just because that's just a, that's just a title? You got to be able to do something, right? If there's issues going on between team, hey, bro, what's what's that about, bro? How you mad? You married? How you mad about something? Why you mad about somebody? <laughs> you married? How you mad? Right. Damn y'all had y'all boy y'all were back doing like that over there, boy. I know what you're talking about. I see where you're going too, because I'm 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 picking up I what you're putting that. down. And I ain't got, I, I didn't have no allegiance to nobody's wife. But what I had allegiance to was that mm -hmm. locker room and was to keep the peace. That was my allegiance. What you do, I, if, right. look, what you did, as long as it didn't interfere with the locker mm -hmm. room, I could care less, Ocho. I really could. Right. That's not my responsibility. Yeah. Your wife wasn't married to me. You wasn't married to me. So I, I don't mm. give a damn. But mm. I tell you, what you're not going to do right. is not going to interfere with what's going on right. in this locker room. So take that A, take that ish right. somewhere else. It's really yeah. that simple. Damn, that's a, hey, but that sounds like a good story. Now you might want to go ahead and nah, share that. Boy. That nah, thing nah, sounds nah, nah, sound, nah, sound nah, juicy, nah. bro. Hey, hey. What happened? But here's the thing, Ocho. I, I was reading the chat because I like to read the chats and see, like, okay, what what can him and Ocho do differently? What could we add? And I was reading the story about this lady, and the lady was saying, "Well, Shannon, uh, what I've learned throughout my life is that when guys talk like you be talking, it's untrue." I've been on I've been on TV for the better part of 20 years, with the exception of two years, Ocho, that I I do I was out of work after yeah. I got to CBS. So those two years, but for the better part, so about mm -hmm. 18 years, Ocho, I've been on TV. Name the one time I've told you a story about something that happened in Baltimore or Denver, and somebody came back and said that didn't happen. Name the one time that I've said something about since you and I've been doing this. If it wasn't true, there some female yeah. could get up here, can get on, can get on a fake account. And say Shannon Sharp lying, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Not one time. Right, right, right. I understand mm -hmm. now in today's society, a lot of people lie. But what the F if I want to lie? What the it, it is what it is. Right. Now, I got some stories mm -hmm. that Ocho, they say that the only difference between truth and fiction is that truth has to make fiction has to make sense. Mm. I got some stories that say, man, ain't no way that happened. It absolutely was. Right. It did happen. And I was there. I was mm -hmm. there. Uh, I might have been an active participant, but that's neither here nor there. That's that's <laughs> for the movie. But guys, right. I'm telling you things <clears throat> that have happened, college, 
NFL, my personal life. Uh, and and I like a lot of times some of these things that happen with female women in my life, Ojo, we're cool. 30 years, we cool. Right. Yeah. Hey, the fact that you've been able to main a court, remain a cordial relationship with people that you've dated and been intimate with, even after the fact, is very commendable. Very, very, very commendable. Because most of the time, you know, things always end on bad terms. And there is no, you know, being friends once you cross a certain threshold. It took me a it's, while it's to a get rap. to that, Ocho, though. It, it, it took rap. me a while. It took me a while because... Okay. I was allowing these women to hold my feelings hostage. They were going on with their mm. lives, but I was in bondage. Right. So mm. I said, I am not going Come to on, allow man. you to hold my feelings hostage. I refuse to be in bondage. Right. So I had to forgive them. And yet it, it took me a while because some of them did some things they didn't have to do. You could have just. I tell people all the time, Ocho, I don't have bars on my house, so it's not to keep you in or out. You walk in the door, I'll right. allow you to walk out. Mm. Yeah. Boy. And so like for that. me, it took it took me a while. It took me a while. Yeah, I've had situations, but I've all because I believe, Ocho, that I'm always gonna come out on the, the winning side. And so when they've done mm -hmm. things to me, I was like, okay, it is what it is. You that you felt that's what you needed to do, but I'm gonna win. Right. I'm gonna win. Yeah. I've had mm -hmm. I've had situations, well, Ocho, with women that I've dated. They ended up getting married. When they're going through hard times, mm. who you think they call? Well, Shannon, I'm going to get a divorce. I say, no, you're not. I say, you better stay with that man. I say, you got to understand how old you think you are. You got two mm -hmm. kids. You this age. I say, I'll tell you what I'm mm -hmm. going to do. I'm going to yeah. get you a hotel room. You stay there for a week. Y'all figure this ish out, but you don't need to leave him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we, 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 talk, we, talk, we talked about it last night now. I said, who you think you about to get? Who you think you about to get? You and your, yeah, when you, you get, damn near 50. Listen, what, rea what reality yeah. will hit once you get out there in them, in them streets and you see what's yeah. left over. I said, huh? because y'all have a disagreement? You know when, oh, he said something that you didn't like or you don't like the way he, oh, hell no. Nah. Y'all better solve mm -hmm. that. And as a matter of fact, hey, I already yeah. got it taken care of. You ain't got to show nothing. Everything that you need, the room and the incidentals are taken care of. Hey, stay your ass right, up there right, right. and make, hey, make sure you make the right decision now. Yeah. Yeah. You you make yeah. the wrong one. You're gonna look, you're gonna be looking back. You're gonna be looking back mad. Come back mama. 10 years later. They still married. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Look. But you are you are you are the could be man. Oh, oh, to the way I look at it, look, you and I didn't work out. I don't think you're a bad person. You might have not been right for me. Mm -hmm. I might have not been right for you, but you might be perfect for someone else. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that's okay, Ocho. And that's hey, okay. Sometime, sometime that's okay. That hurt at the end of the day, I want you to be happy. I might not can give you the happiness mm -hmm. that you're looking for, but that doesn't mean I don't want you mm. to have it. And if you found it at one point in time, stay there. I say it's easy. I say, damn, y'all. The minute of heart, I, I thought for richness and poor, sickness and health and heart, and and. <laughs> Well, damn, that's so y'all just talking up there in front of the man, huh? Y'all up there in the church and y'all just yeah, lying. Yeah, they be yeah. Yeah, they'd they be ready to go now. It just like any the, the slightest inconvenience or uh, things don't go well or or you do something that don't don't sit right with them. Yeah. Oh, they're ready to go. They ready to go. Matter of fact, and they ready to go to somebody else that can do worse. the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but you know, you know, like my grandma say, my grandma always told me now. You don't have to lie to you don't have to lie to a woman because she like you enough she yeah, lie to herself for sure. You don't have to lie to a woman because if she like you enough for them red flags yeah. like six flags yeah they, she's hey, going for that ride colorblind she's going for that ride <laughs> yeah oh yeah when it's when it's yes. convenient based on based but on I, but I want I want all the women that I've been with in, in in my time I want them to find happiness it wasn't for me it you know we didn't work out. But mm -hmm. if there's anything I can do to help you and, and you're in a situation, I got you. It didn't work for me. All I, like I yeah. said, and even though sometimes, Ocho, it didn't end on the best note, the best terms. We didn't end on the best terms. That's all right.
<laughs> I mean, I, I think that that came from my grandmother and, and my sister. Cause my sister right. like Shannon, just pray about it. It's gonna be okay. You still, she's like, yeah, you still my little. She always tells me this when I every time, every time I've always <laughs> gone through something, a breakup. She always, she always reminds me who I am. You still Shannon Sharp. You still my little brother, and you are gonna be okay. Yeah. She's a she's that calming voice because a lot of time I like hey yeah I wanna I wanna bury this you know what say hey, Shanna what do you get out of that yeah. what do you get out of that right I mean my sister look look oh let me tell you what my sister did I was in a relationship mm -hmm. my sister can we get it no can we, we get a name, name this time no name. let me tell you what my sister did right. my sister right. really because like go ahead. if you call my sister. If you automatically, I would think my sister would take up for me. That is what my sister did. Right. Wait, when you're wrong, my, you're wrong now. She got to hold you accountable. You should leave him. Because mm. he ain't doing right. So why are you going to stay? Why are you going to stay in a situation where you're unhappy? You know he makes you unhappy. You're not happy, but you're going to stay. Why? Leave. And if it's, me if it's meant to be... Y'all will be together. You come back like a man, boomerang. Like living. What the hell you done done? What you think? What you think the girl did? Left. She ain't leave. Left. What? You serious? Left. Ain't look back. Unk man, this that's too nice in a row. You didn't told me somebody oh, left. Yo, me I, now. I, don't, oh, I don't yo. like that now. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Ocho. Ocho. Damn. I let CBS, C CBS, that CBS that let me go. Right with me. I went to Undisputed, got bigger. Undisputed let me go. Now look at it. Look at the subs. I got more subs than Undisputed. You look at they look at the talent they got over there. I got I got yeah. we got a new podcast. And we got more subs than yeah. everybody they got over there combined. So uh -oh. they can't talk it. I'm okay. Now. I'm a, I'm gonna be okay. I believe in me. I'm always gonna bet on black. Yeah. So I, I don't oh, yeah. I don't I don't get you know when when something happens. I remember I wanted a situation and my agent said, "Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Next contract, somebody else will pay for what you lost." Mm. I don't. I like. Oh, that. So I don't. I don't get upset, man. It's not the end of the world. I'll. I'm strong. I'm I'm, I'm strong. Damn, man. Hey, I'm born in '68. I came from good stock, not Woodstock. You better understand where mm. I came from and how I came to be. Right. Damn. <laughs> what I you don't, don't like? like? They, yeah, Nick, man, you, you, you're a good dude, man. Because I'm like, like that, 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 that's 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 stung oh, me a little Ocho, bit, man. Ocho. That's that's two times. Two times somebody. Oh, they. Oh, that ain't the first. That ain't the really first thing. time. That ain't the first time. That's not the second time. I was dating. A, I was dating a female, and and we were living together. And when I came home, she was gone. Oh hell! Oh hell! No. Huh? Uh, like that's the type of shit you see well, in movies. I, was, man. I guess I was living a movie then. Hey, Ocho. Oh, when hell, I tell you, Ocho, nah, look. Hell. Listen. When I tell people I can write a book. Y'all think I'm lying. I know y'all think I'm lying. Hold but that on, is man. You came home, you came home like like on some gone girl shit, like the movie Gone, gone. Girl. She was gone. Big G, big O, Biggie, Biggie. Gone. Bye bye, Birdie. That's off, man. Hey, that's slightly Why? disrespectful. Because if you if you if you love well, clearly me, that wasn't the case, you didn't dealing, love me anymore. I yeah. Yeah, um, any anymore? Would you nah, tell me okay. that you if you check if you if you've checked out mentally and you still here physically and you're not feeling the situation we're in? I need you to communicate. Isn't that what women always talk man. about? Women are big on communication. Man, people, oh, Where yo, is man, the people. communication? If you want, why wait until you leave on some sucker shit and then pack your shit and leave in when I, when I ain't here and not face face the wall? Good. Face the wall. Come on now. I mean, Ocho, everybody can't handle situations. Like, I don't know how you handle situations, 
but I can sit down. I can have a conversation. You're not happy. Damn. You want to move on. I'm not happy. I want to move on. I can have that kind of conversation. But everybody can't have right, that right, conversation. Right. Everybody's not built like you and I. Yeah, like, I, I, I can't speak for you. I'm built. I can oh, handle but, it. But, but listen, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how, how I feel. And me yeah. and you on the same page. I was born in 78 now. I was born in 78. But one thing about it is I'll give my all and do all I can. Now, if you choose to lose, I never see it as a loss. I see it as one mm -hmm. less expense. Right. That's it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything. So now that's somebody yeah. else's responsibility. If they want to pick up where I left off and do more, yeah. so be yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. And good luck. So be it and good luck. But I always, I always see someone actually leaving me. Well, shit, that's better for me. I just think about how much yeah. I can save from this. So point I, on. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get upset. I don't fuss and fight. Um, I want things a certain way. I like people that after you've been with me for a while, you kind of understand my mannerism. Right. You know what I okay. Mm -hmm. Shannon don't really want to talk. Let him be. Shannon won't right, right. Want something like this, or Shannon wants something like that. Let me have this ready for him. I, I want people to like study me and have without me having to tell you. No, 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 no. I think the best right. relationships are right. you've been with someone mm -hmm. long enough, you understand. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, you know what's funny? I like that you just said that. Like, I've been with real, like, so long now, we starting to look alike. <laughs> I can start you a sentence. I, 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 can start a, I, can start, I can start a sentence, and before I even finish what I'm saying, she finished the damn sentence. I'm like, but, but can I? And it kind of <laughs> irked me a little bit. Like, can I get my thoughts out? <laughs> I, I know you know because I'm a, yes. I'm a creature of habit. Huh? My right. routine don't change. My routine doesn't change. And the things that I say based on the situation, it never right. changes as well. So I start saying something and she'll finish it. Whatever it is, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, I know you know. Just yeah, I want to say it, say out. Don't get, <laughs> let me Let me say it. Let me finish. So it basically, it's, it's like you, it sounds like you irritated because you already know what I'm getting ready to say. And you don't want me to say it. Man, it's small. Yeah, yeah, small little, small little discrepancy yeah. we be having, you know that 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 starts yeah. to argue. But it's, it's gonna happen, Ocho. And you know, I, I think the thing is for for me, um, distance is hard because you know, mm. wanting to talk every day, all the time. Physical, physical, yeah, physical yeah. touch is important. I don't see mm -hmm. how people do long distance. I don't see how people do do long. Day. You know, when you're younger, I understand. When you're younger. You don't really know no better. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in love. You know, that's puppy love. Like mm -hmm. my grandma used to call it. Boy, that ain't nothing but puppy love. You ain't going to know her in three years. I ain't believe her. I say, my, my grandma, my grandma, boy, she going to be here forever. Thank boy, you. you in eighth grade. Goddamn, God, I never forget. She motherfucking left me for goddamn Willis, man. Oh, look, we, I look, we all would, we all done been through that. You know, had, and played them songs, <laughs> Lenny Williams. Girl, you know I love you. Oh, and, and, oh. And, 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 and send for oh. me, Atlanta Star. I'm just a telephone call away. I mean, we all play. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that line of Richie's song, "Hello." Boy, you bring it back. Man, boy, I'm, I'm, boy, I almost teared up. Boy, you bring it back. That, 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 that makes me emotional, boy. I remember yeah. the days, boy. Listen to Lenny Williams, boy. You know, you know how hurt you got to be to watch TV. To TV, TV went used off. to go off. See, TV it wasn't always 24 hours a day. Like at midnight, the TV would go black. Mm. There was nothing else on. I don't. I know a lot of people out there that's watching this don't remember those days. But TV used to go off at midnight. It Ooh. would go black. Yeah, and yeah. you know, if, now that's that hurt. You know, that's there wasn't a hurt, cartoon boy. network. Ocho, we had a we had a TV that had three channels on off and don't f with me. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying, Ocho? We <laughs> we could barely see what was going on anyway. But yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, as, as, and I, yeah. I think that's the thing is that you understand, like you know, look. As you grow, Ocho, your partner needs to grow with you. Now, sometimes yeah. what happened, that, Ocho, that's... as I started to grow, they mm. weren't growing. Mm. And then all of a sudden, I became, mm. you know, I because here's the thing, Ocho. I'm with somebody, I was like, hey, hey, you know, because most people are going to recognize who I am. They're going to say, but I would always say, hey, mm. this is my partner. This is such and such, blah, blah, blah. But mm -hmm. here's the kicker. When she wasn't mm. with me, she didn't get no acknowledgement. Right. So basically, what she was, what she had become, mm -hmm. was she was like, "You drowning me out." 
I can't be who I am. Ah, right, right, right. I like that. I think I, you know, I think I'm, I'm kind of fortunate. It's, it's kind of the opposite. It's kind of the opposite for me a, a little bit. Like I'm still who I am, but this young, this young lady obviously real has yes. her own identity. People, you know, they she has her own identity to where it's, it's gotten to the point where, oh, it ain't that's Chad Johnson. Oh, that's the dude mm-hmm. Sherelle go with. Oh, that's the dude Sherelle. Go- Excuse me, honey. But I was out there yeah. catching them touchdowns. Yeah, but see, that that's like, that's that the identity. Oh, that's Shannon mean? Sharp's girlfriend. Yeah, so how that's you... how that's how people would refer to her. It wasn't it wasn't her Don't name do like that. But it was like, oh, this mm-hmm. is this is a Shannon Sharp's girlfriend. This is Shannon Sharp's significant other. Right. And she's like, right. That's not my name. Mm-hmm. But I, that's I'm crazy, like, man. I'm st- I'm still thinking about that. Um, that 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 bo- that really bothers me. Like you going to work or you going to practice and you coming back home for practice after hard days of work. No, I, no, gone. this was I was I was I was in Denver. She was in she was in, in Atlanta, so I came home after the season. Yeah. Oh, oh, she hell no! Nah. She wasn't in my house. She wasn't with me in, in, in Denver. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, Damn, I mean, man. Ocho, I looked at it like this. I didn't have to play pay for moving. Hell, if I'd have had to move, I'd have had to pay for somebody to move ass up out of there. Hey, I'm, I'm with you when you're right, and that's 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 how I look at it. When when those situations fall apart, I remember the memories, I remember the good times, I focus on the good times. But then, all in all, I think about, well, hell, damn, I ain't got to pay for this no more. Yeah, I ain't got to pay that. I ain't got to pay this, and now it's somebody yep. else's responsibility. Then I feel better and I start yeah. smiling. Damn. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that's some shit out of, excuse me, I'm sorry for cursing. I owe five dollars. That's something out of a movie, man. That's oh, yeah. something out of and a movie. And the only bro. thing I was mad about, Ocho, she had cooked Thanksgiving dinner and left all the pots in my refrigerator. <laughs> you mean she left? She ain't clean no. up before she left. <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah. See, I'm I'm glad I'm I'm glad that that. Ended. <laughs> yeah, she won. She won the one. Man, let me go. I, I ain't telling tell you no one. more stories. Le'Veon Bell wants to turn to the NFL, <laughs> implying he wants to play for the Steelers. I'll be back better than ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, I'll be back. I'll be I'll be better than I ever was ever, and I'll only come back mm-hmm. for that one team. I don't got to say no team. Y'all know who it is. Steelers, of yeah. course. At 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 yeah. at thirty one. Um, I think I I would like to see Le'Veon Bell back in back in a a situational mm-hmm. type role. But again, it's not the same offense that you were in when right. Big Ben was there. Right. Things are different now. Things are different now. Obviously, I know you are exceptional at being somewhat of a dual threat, similar to Christian McCaffrey. Excuse me, similar to Christian right. McCaffrey. But mind you now, Le'Veon Bell lined up at the slot. Hell, no, he, can line he up at used receiver. to be able he to do that. Slants. Okay, I, I, I see where you're going with it. I see where you're going with it. I used to be able to ride a bike, but if you gave me one right now, I bet I can get on and pedal. Now, maybe not to, maybe not the way I used to be able to do it, but I'm sure Le'Veon still got a little something in the tank. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. I don't never want to discredit nobody wanting to finish out their dream on their own terms. Yeah. You, you know, 30, 31, 30, 31 no. ain't that bad, is but it? But you have to understand, Ocho, I mean, you saw him his last couple of years. Did he look like the Le'Veon Bell that you remember in Steelers? Well, well, well based on where, where, where he was, they weren't using him so, right. So what so the what Steelers going to use? He, they got, they they well. got Najee. They got Jalen. Yeah. War, Jalen Warren, I think that's his name. They got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, hey, he nice. That boy fast, bro. He fast. So, yeah, I mean, maybe Le'Veon come coming coming in, in in a certain role. You know, third third downs, bigger. I mean, no, I think Najee is not no, as no, fast, no, no, no. not as elusive, but he's he's more of, more of a he big back. You know, running through you, stiff arming you. I don't know. I don't. Uh, know. I, I I don't. I don't. I know. It depends. You know, it all depends on the relationship with him and Mike Tomlin. The Roonies. You it think Tomlin Mike will give him a chance Roonies. or give him a look at him? Oh, okay, okay, okay. But you know, Mike Tomlin has to stand on on ten toes for him to even Ocho. go upstairs for him Ocho. to even get opportunity. 
When's the last time? Have Le'Veon played in the last two years? He's been working. He's been working though. Ocho. That boy been working. He's been boxing. He's been boxing. You running, remember how you, when you trained the whole yes, off sir. season? When you got in them pads, the yeah. first Friday you was dog tired. Yeah. It was. It was almost like you ain't did nothing. Yeah, I see what you it, mean. Because it's, it's different, it's different. Once, you, once you get together all at once. No matter how much training you did, it's different. So you when get everybody in shape together. by playing football. <laughs> you get in shape football, for basketball yeah. by playing basketball. Basketball. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, listen, a brother can dream. A brother can dream. Woo! Kadarius Tony had a lot to say tonight, Ocho. Tony said on the yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. What happened? What on happened? His bad? Live, he, he said this. He said, yeah. Oh, this old. Is it old? But he was on his IG live. Okay, okay. He was asking about his IG live and the stuff that he said. Okay. Uh, media day tonight. Okay, okay. Well, media night. Uh, he was asked about his IG live. Um, and it looked like he was bashing the Chiefs when he said that he was bashing the Giants fan. I never attacked the Chiefs. He then said, ask if he's the number one receiver in the league. His response, yeah, if I get the ball. If I get the ball. Hey. Ojo. Hey. He 50 50. Yes, sir. There's a 50% chance he catch it. There's a 50% chance he drop it. Right. And then, and, and no, he should be 33 33. 33% chance he drop it. 33% chance he catch it. 33% he hits his hands and the other right. guy catch it. Mm, I, don't, I, don't I don't like where you're going but, with that, but I understand. I, you, I understand but why. You watch the same why. game. You owe me $200 right now for the simple fact. He wasn't going to drop a pass, and he ain't going to get the one intercepted. I'd be damned if he didn't get that both of them uh, the next day. Wait. You owe me $200? Well, I'm glad you're – I'm going to pay you at the show. I ain't seen you in person because my Apple Pay don't work. No, I don't like the Apple Pay. pay. Apple Pay? Who is Apple? Who pay with Apple? What? Were you, what the hell? You, you like have that? a horse? What the hell? I don't want no Apple. There's no, no currency. There ain't no currency for me. I do greenbacks. S and S greenbacks. Or EBT cards. I don't carry cash. I don't. I ain't, I ain't never carry cash. I carry. I carry forty dollars on me. You owe me two hundred. I'm. I'm. A, I get. I get money at the ATM yeah, when that. I come to Vegas. When you get. You get. Yep. You get in tomorrow, right? Yep. I get in tomorrow too. So I'm. 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 I'm, uh, I'm gonna sure pay you. I'm gonna pay you. I pay sure you. appreciate that. I need that. Yeah, appreciate that. I'm glad you remind. I'm glad you so remind. In other me. words, he didn't take hey, any I, accountability I, for the things that he has said on IG Live, Ocho. And watch you go out there and, and act a fool Sunday. Watch you go out there and act a fool Sunday and remind a motherfucker what you I can do. You do realize, think about Guarantee. how the offense took off the moment that he went down. I, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. It did. It did take <laughs> off. It did take. It did. It did take off. It did play well. But the defense carried. The they were carrying the team all right along. Now. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Like that's true. The, 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 you know. You know what's funny. The fact that their the identity is, we always talk about Patrick Mahomes this, Patrick Mahomes that, but the goddamn identity this season has really but, been the defense. Here, you know what it is? Really been the defense if and If you spads. look at it, for the most part, in Tom Brady's Super Bowls, what was it? It was their defense and Tom making timely Even throws really and good. timely drives and winning yeah. games late. In the, and right. not turning because the ball over. Because with the exception of maybe uh, yeah. his, first, his first Super Bowls always came to his first like five or six Came down to a game winning drive, mm -hmm. a make or miss. Mm -hmm. But it was a it was a one possession yep. game, with the exception of the Rams. I think they won thirteen mm -hmm. three. And this last one that he won against when he was in Tampa, I think they won like thirty something to nine. Tampa. But the the five the right. five or six prior to that, one possession. Remember, uh, it was a walk off mm -hmm. kick against the Rams, a walk off kick against the uh, right. uh the the Panthers. It was a three point game Panthers. against the Eagles, and then they lost mm -hmm. one possession game. And it was a one possession game against the four, uh, uh, the Legion of Boom. So yeah. that's that's how you know the uh, the, uh, the Patriots won a lot of their games. Defense was outstanding, and Tom would find a way Very to good. keep find a way to keep him in a, a game. And keep Tom game. would do what Tom does. He had done it so many times. Right. He would drive the ball down the field, get him in field goal range, or he would score a touchdown to win the game. Fan questions. Oh yeah. Mod uh, squad asked, "What are y'all thoughts on coleslaw?" Yeah, coleslaw. You look like a guy to eat coleslaw. 
I, I know you. Everything. I know you. Do. Yeah. Yeah. I eat everything. I like cold. I, I like coleslaw. I, I like coleslaw. Matter of fact, crazy, crazy. Now that you mentioned coleslaw, I haven't had it in a while, but I do get my coleslaw when I go to Church of Chicken. I get it number three. Number three, all legs with my apple pie, mashed potatoes, and coleslaw. Ah, yeah. Mashed potatoes I go, and coleslaw. Uh, I only eat it if it's on a chicken sandwich. But but if you just like how you gonna put coleslaw nah, on your chicken comes, sandwich? It comes like this. Yeah. No, nah, the because they got they got a uh, uh, Okay, okay. What's the name of this chicken sandwich? I can't think. Oh, uh, Ding's crispy ch uh chicken sandwich at Houston's South Beverly Grill, Hillstones. Hillstones are out here in South Beverly Grill. They have what they call a a, a Ding's uh a crispy ch chicken sandwich, and it has a, a coleslaw on it. That's the only that mm. that's the only time I'll eat it. I can't eat it just like Get a fork right. and just eat it out of a cup or eat it out of bowls. Nah, I can't eat that. Right, right. Nah, hell no. no. Okay, okay. Nah. Yeah. Mm -mm. But more times than not, I just get the burger. Yeah, okay. I can. Eat, <coughs> I, I eat that cold. So you got you got to yeah, take baby steps. But I already man. know. Baby but steps. I already know you are. I mean, if you eat cold, you eat. You know, <laughs> eat booty. I know you eat cold slow. I, ain't I, you, I know. You, I know. You, I know. You, you, eat booty, you eat coleslaw. Probably put I mean, coleslaw just, in the booty. Not literally. Not lit <laughs> hey, boy, don't don't give me no, man, give go me no ahead ideas, man. man. That's a good one. I like that. See, there you, you need you need help. I got I got my homeboy Rodney Dink and said, "Oh, you got me sick, sipping this Laportier with a splash of water." You see what I'm saying, Dink? You like it too, don't you, Dink? Rock, you like that? Yeah. Open that thing up, you get to taste all the body, those little marshmallows. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, I I want to taste the marshmallow <laughs> too. Everybody, everybody that's watching tonight, please subscribe. When we hit a million subscribers, I am drinking some cognac, La Portier. <laughs> I'm drinking it. So I, I take a shot. You put. I take a shot. No, 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 no. It's I, a I, sip. I, it's a sip. Yeah, yeah. A it's, sip? it's a sipping drink. Okay. You smoking your cigar, you talking yeah. with your homeboy, you talk, you right. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right, like that. Right. Yeah. 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 You don't take it to the head yeah. now. Brown look at how you want to fight everybody. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm uh I'm a, I'm thinking, you no, know, pour I could pour the, the cognac down down real Lord, back, right? Mercy. Yeah. You hear me? So listen, listen, the, 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 and then like this this the ass crack. Oh and man, catch, oh, and I catch can't the catch the con yeah. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. I had I picked yeah. the nastiest coho in all in all of digital. I got it. Listen, listen. If I'm a drink, if I'm a drink for the first time ever, I need the experience of me drinking for the first time ever to yeah. be memorable. And that's a memorable way. That's a nah, memorable nah, nah, way nah. to go we, out. We go, we go, we gonna be sipping. You know, we gonna have the thing. We are gonna be sipping in the special glass because you know we got yeah. special glasses. So you know, it the ethanol right. it knocks down the ethanol. And so you just taste the cognac, and the uh, and the smell, the scent doesn't overpower you. So we went all out when we developed this cognac. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know nothing about no alcohol, <laughs> but I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. I'm Chase gonna learn. Chase said, "Do cups really help football players?" Hell no. But football. Who the football hell wear a don't cup? Wear a cup? I ain't wear cups. Baseball. Goddamn pee wee. Players wear cups. Or hockey. Uh, hockey players shit. wear cups. Football player, bro, you can't ball. Right. You can't even run. How the hell you gonna run? You mess around. And, well, you wear a cup in football. I hope you got all your kids out the way. I hope you done had all the kids you want to have. You're gonna be, end up with, 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 a, with a testicle in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Petey Pablo. Hey, um. Would you would you ever get a smooth head like Ocho got right now? Nah, yeah, bring that nah, thing on down, man. Hey, hey. Matter of fact, yeah. hey Unc, you know I ain't finished cutting I my hair, you right? You, you cut before we came on. Look at the back. Look. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see can it. You see it? I'm thinking about. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about going to Turkey in the next couple of years. Let them draw that line right there, front right there. Have me, uh, have me some, have my yeah. come on out here like this here. About right there, not about right there, uh, about right there, about right there. There you go. I'm going to Turkey. I'm going to Turkey. 
2025, Turkey, here I come. I don't care what y'all like say it. either. I like it. No, nah, I ain't getting no ball head. My head, my head too big. I got a square. Blocks don't look good, Shade. <laughs> <laughs> it don't. Uh, Dan Boeing asks, uh, you've mentioned that you had a girlfriend who pre preemptively took care of your needs and how that scared you at the time. Would you value that today? Mm. Of course. Of course. Um, but it just it just wasn't about the needs. I mean, yeah, obviously, to pleasure your man or your, your woman is, is very important. But to understand, mm -hmm. like, he's, he's feeling some type of way, let him have his space. Yeah. Let him have his space. Um, I'm going to take the dog so the dogs don't get on his nerves. It's just little things like that that you know over time that you know and you can sense. Mm -hmm. And that's what I try to do. I try to like learn the woman that I'm dating. And so I can nip things in the bud, you know, cause a lot of times you saw this and you mm -hmm. ain't even, you ain't, you saw me having, I was telling you I was having a bad day. I called you at work. I sent you a text to say I wasn't having a good day. And then mm -hmm. I get home and you got all this and I got to do all this and all that. So my job is to try to preempt anything like that from happening once she got home. My job is to try to make it easy right. on her and hopefully she can sense and, and do the same thing for me. But I would definitely value some of the things that I took for granted in my 20s. Absolutely. But and when you're in your 20s, you don't think. Mm. Um, you're like, oh, man. Go ahead have some days there, man. Think about them. Well, I, I there's no balls. <coughs> you know, obviously, you, you, you know, you're not going to be the same no, no. over time. And so it's just the chances are if maybe if you did do right, or maybe did you if, if you did things a little different, chances are you probably wouldn't still be right. together any goddamn way. Damn. That's crazy. Uh the gift of Gab show said, I'm glad Ocho got the right one now. When Ocho was going, huh? Okay. Uh I'm glad Ocho has the right one now. When is Ocho going to tell a breakup story. He afraid. Look, Ocho, Ocho is a different story. place than I am. Uh, Ocho, Ocho, uh, obviously rail is there and that's not good in his situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, you trying to yeah. get me in trouble, boy. I told you yesterday, I told you, if you watched the show last night, everybody left me. That's yeah. all you need to know. What is everybody talking everybody, about this Eli every, thing? Every, what is Eli? Every, what did Eli do? Eli Manning. Oh, he, he a battle rapper. I didn't see. You didn't see that, man. Eli, Eli rapper, Eli, Eli Manning. He battled Super Hot Fire. You don't know no, about Super Hot Fire? What did Super Hot Fire do? Man, he's a battle rapper. Yeah, it was, it was funny too. So you got you got to tell Ash to play play the little line from Eli Manning. He took he took a shot at All Tom. Right, we'll, we'll we'll get it here. In a, in a, in a, in a right. playful manner though, nothing nothing serious, but it, it was funny as hell. Brandon Bonilla, Mr. Sharp, not sure. If if you remember me, but I shared a video on X and I told you million of followers was coming and we're here. What do I do with a woman that had my children but doesn't believe in my venture ideas? I've been great in real estate, mm. but she doesn't appreciate that. But the moment I tried to start my own company and failed, she says I failed again. Now, the one thing that a partner should always do they got they got a proper support because support i mean she's no different than anybody else because they're gonna tell you what a failure you are i don't need somebody in my own house telling me i'm a failure yeah nah, I, don't, I don't like yeah. you you gotta do you gotta you gotta deal with that you deal with stuff like yeah, that on yeah. the outside and when you come home when you come home the thought is well you know what they can say all that they want to say i know once i get home my baby yes. will support me whether i that whether I'm failing or whether I succeeded at whatever endeavor it is I want to do. But having to hear that in your own household, and it's not man, bro, you got Brandon, to have a talk. You got, Brandon, you got to have you a talk. you did not fail. You had delayed success. Mm. Success like is right around the corner. You know, a lot of people think strength is about how much you can lift, but strength is overcoming what you didn't think you could. 
So you're in a situation where you're having delayed successes. It's going to come, but you need someone to always, uh, that's one thing I'd always say, hey, you know, I, I've always had people that, my, my sister, um, uh, my grandmother, my brother, they've always been, and that's really all I needed. That's all I need. I don't I don't need the world to pat like I you know, my grandma used to always say, boy, you don't need no one to pat you yeah. on the back. You got two good damn hands. Pat yourself on the back. So I play good, right, even if right. nobody else tells me I did. I know I played good. Mm -hmm. I do something well, okay. I can't wait to, yeah. for the world to applaud me. Because if I wait for the world mm -hmm. to applaud me, I'm gonna die when they boo me. Oh, yeah. And so oh, yeah. I understand I'm not everybody's cup of tea and we use tea or I'm not everybody's uh, favorite flavor. And I get that. That's OK. That is completely all right. Yeah. But you keep telling me what yeah. I'm not. If you tell me what I'm not, what are you? Mm. You see, nobody, nobody well, that's it. above Wait. you will ever say anything to put you down. It's only the people that's below you that try to pull yeah. you down to their level. And you shouldn't you shouldn't be having to hear stuff like that in general. Yeah. From your other I'm half. Not not your bit. No, your no, half. I'm just saying, I'm just saying anyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. In general, oh, you yeah, know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. I mean I mean, why you why I mean people like I, I laugh. Someone told me today, Ocho, because I flew private, I'm not a man of the people. I say so, Ocho. Yeah. They say Jay Z. They say Beyonce is a woman of the people. So which one of y'all live next to mm -hmm. Beyonce? <laughs> which one of y'all live next to Oprah? I guarantee you, not one person on this chat got a residency in Montecito. You see, Montece and Montecito. Who? Do you see how asinine that sounds? Because I flew private, but you don't understand. You see, you speak about things you don't know. Mm. But anyway, how does me fly in private? Do you know what I've saved? Do you know what I've done? Mm. I don't sacrifice anything. Do I mean, if I got damn near 2 million miles on Delta, how the F am I flying private all the time, Ocho? Do you understand how much you got to fly to get 2 million miles on an airline? Yeah, yeah, I definitely know because I got seven million. <laughs> so I know, I know, I'm, I'm with you when I'm so, with you when you're right. And I'm like, man, man y'all need. I mean, it's us. You know what? One time, but you know what I want to do, Ocho. I want to oh, go. Man. I want to go in. Uh, I wish I could just like go into a uh, like a Justin Timberlake, or I could go into like mm -hmm. some of these like a Pat McAfee chat and see if they get some of the vitriol that you and I get. That oh, what yeah, I want to see. Definitely, oh, definitely. Yeah, the most definitely, most definitely, because there will always be people, there will always be somebody that will have an issue with something mm -hmm. you have going on. And it's always the ones that have issues with what you have going on, they, yeah. they always you, watching. Oh, oh they always watch. Why you, why watching. you mad that I work, that I'm do I, that yeah. I'm taping to like anywhere between eight and ten shows a week? That I'm trying to maximize the mm. opportunity that God has set before me. But you mad. Well, you should do this. You know what, Ocho, what you found out, and you and I, I, I bet you can attest to this. Everybody have brilliant uh -huh. ideas what you should do with your money. Ain't your nobody money. can ain't and nobody saying, well, this is what I'm doing with mine. Why are you worried? Mm -hmm. You're not concerned. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Shannon, I don't want you to go broke. No, you want Shannon to go broke so you can have something to talk about. I told you, he up there flossing right. flying private. I know he ain't got it like that. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. You're not concerned whether or not I'm saving. You want to say I told yeah. you? You want to try to laugh? Well, it ain't gonna happen though. I am. I'm. I'm you concerned, I'm concerned about what? I'm not concerned. You you're not gonna go Hell broke. No. You're not gonna go broke because I know you get money. But I'm gonna make sure you you keep a nice a nice like ninety eight percent of what you make, and I want well, you I to keep ninety percent of my wages because Uncle Sam already taking fifty percent of that. So you want me to keep ninety eight percent of the fifty percent? Oh, matter of fact, listen, I can help you out. I, could, I got a little loophole. I got a little loophole where you can keep more than just 50. You can keep about 87%. You know, I got a little loophole for you that we can keep most of your money. You ain't got to give Uncle Sam everything. I don't everything. give him everything anyway, but I, I don't fool with Uncle Sam. I don't fool with Uncle Sam. Huh? 
Oh, but me and Sam cool now. Never gonna be cool. Me and Sam ain't gonna be cool. I will. I will. He the he the only man that ain't got no job and get fifty percent of your money off the top. Yeah, yeah, every time. But that's why that's why I'm trying to give you the loophole. I'm giving you the loophole that yeah. the elites use. Well, I the need, to, well, I need to move. I so need to move to Tennessee. I need to move to Florida, Texas, Florida, Vegas. I think Ohio. I think those are the five states I know off yeah. the top of my head that doesn't have a uh, uh, state income tax. State tax. Huh? Yeah, I think you might want to move. To we're not living in Ohio. I say we're not living in Ohio. Now, Jordan, we can't yeah. live well, in I, no I state. Think, think... Jordan from Ohio, Ashley from Texas. So those are already out. <laughs> so you might listen. You might. That's already out. So we, we, right we now we're down to Tennessee. We're down to Florida. So we're down to Tennessee and Vegas. Okay, I think. Well, damn, no man. <laughs> All you doing is shaking your head. Said, no we ain't what? living in Florida. We ain't living in. We ain't living. We ain't what? Living. What about Vegas? <laughs> ain't ain't nothing to do in Perfect. Vegas. Ain't nothing to do because. Once you go down the strip, down and back. Man, I don't spend okay, no time done. on the strip. Now Miami, uh -huh. I me neither. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't gamble. Oh, chat said you go to Texas. I ain't going to nobody club. Oh, the chat said I should live in Texas. Nah, nah it, it's overcrowded. You gonna deal with that traffic on that highway? It's just like dealing you, with the four or five. Yeah, you talking about overcrowded? We got forty million people in California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is raining here. It's been raining for two days. Oh man! Hey, Rail, what's up, Rail? Send us, send us some uh, money, Rail. The law, the law explorer. I'm in my forties and I'm focusing on my law degree. I don't want love. Is that wrong? No. It's okay. It's okay. Hell it's okay no, to wrong. love you more than you love someone else. It's also, it's also okay to want something for yourself more than you want it for someone else. It's okay to be selfish. Yeah. Mike, I, I posted something that Michael Jordan and Serena Williams, you've got to be selfish in order to, no great person will ever tell you, look at the greats and how great do you want to be? There's a price to be paid for greatness. Yeah. And if you're not willing to pay that price, yeah. you don't deserve to be successful. You don't deserve to be great. You got to, you got to, you got to sacrifice. Yes. Got to sacrifice at something. At, that's a part of it, Ocho. If you don't ever have to sacrifice anything, I want you to tell me what have you absolutely done? Because I guarantee you it ain't nothing. If you haven't had to make any sacrifices, right? Zero? Nah, you yeah. ain't, you ain't done nothing. No. Dominique said, Uncle Ocho, hey. if you could wish my little cousins a happy birthday, Dallas and Landry, twins 11, and Denver 6, Dallas and hold on, Dallas and Landry are twins. They're eleven. Denver is six. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, happy eleventh birthday, Dallas and Landry. Uh, Denver, happy birthday! Six years old. Thank you, Dominique, for watching. I greatly appreciate that. Ocho and I really, really appreciate it. Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday, birthday! Eleven, about to be. You got a couple of more years before you be teenagers. Whoa, whoa! We, hey, we got eleven <laughs> six year old no. watching. Well, I got I got I got to no, 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 clean no. it up. The, the, I got to no, clean Dominique it up. No, Dominique is bad. watching, but they wanted. Uh, okay. I don't know if it's a he or she, but they wanted us to wish their little cousins a happy birthday. So that's what we did. Okay. I was just really, yo, sure what's that. up, Uncle Ocho? Know. Me and my girl just had two daughters named Tyrell, and her name is Shania. Can you shout us out? Okay, really, yo, Tyrell, Shania, welcome. Hold on, came out. We are inside Paul's portum, post, postpartum. So I guess his his wife, his girl, just had the, just had daughters. She had twins. Oh, she, she had twins. Oh. Tyrell and Shania. Hey, there we Congratu go. congratulations, Radio. Hopefully, hopefully, Congrats. mother and daughters are healthy. I know you're extremely excited, mm -hmm. bro. You a girl, a, a girl there twice at once. But congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah get back in there now. And you know, listen, really, you know, one thing you can't do now as a father, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you as a father, as a father of 11, you can never end on, e, can never end on e, even Yeah, you can. Ever. You're supposed to end on even. So, you made that bull job up. You don't end up on odd numbers. You end right, up on the even number of, the, what The number, no, the number of completion in the Bible is seven. So you always want to end on even, uneven, odd numbers. I'm sorry. Yeah, how many books in the numbers. Bible? How many books in the Bible? Huh? 32. 
Uh, yeah, you ain't you ain't know I know, but I didn't read the I didn't read the Bible front to back, now. Don't play with me, cause I get on here and preach. Go ahead and preach it. Go ahead and preach. I'm listening. Huh? I, I ain't gonna do it right now, cause it ain't Sunday. I, I don't play with the Lord on Mondays. Mm -mm -mm. I don't play with the Lord on Monday. But go ahead and get back in there, man. Give her, give her, you Ocho. know, give her some time to heal. Ocho. Give her about three weeks. I'm a... Get back in there. Ocho, there's not 32 books in the Bible. The Bible has 66 books. Huh? Yeah. You How said, many you books said I, in the I'm Bible? giving you half. No, that's of not them. half. 32 is not half of 66. Well, I don't know what mad class <laughs> you went to. 32 is half of 64, Ocho. Listen, I only read 32 of them. Okay. The, I know it from back to back, though. What's the first book in the Bible? What's the first book in the Bible? Uh, Leviticus. Genesis. What's the last book in the Bible, Ocho? Appalachian. Revelation, but okay. <laughs> that's that's what I just yeah. said. I said it wrong. I meant to say Revelation. Ben asked, Unk. Can we see your Super Bowl ring sometime? Ben, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go get them out the safe deposit box. I don't normally have them on me. Um, but at some point in time, when I'm in Atlanta, I'll go to the safe deposit box and dig them out. G Ortega, what is the biggest Super Bowl upset in your opinion? And what's your favorite boxing match? That's for both uh, uh Unk and Ocho. The biggest Super Bowl, well, I wasn't, I mean, I don't remember. I mean, I, I guess people would say uh the Colt, the Scope. The Jets beating the Colts. Uh, we upset the uh, the Packers. We're 11 and a half, 12 point underdogs. The Giants upsetting the Patriots in Super Bowl. What was that? What Super Bowl? Uh, in 2007. I forget the number. Mm. Those are the biggest off the top of my head. I mean, but, but that I can remember. Mm. I mean, we were 11 and a half point underdogs. We had they had the Super Bowl, they had the uh the reigning three time league MVP, and the NFC had a 14 year run. The AFC hadn't won a Super Bowl in 14 years until we beat the Packers, Ocho. <laughs> so me, I'm biased. I'm gonna say us. But some people, obviously, right. some people gonna say the Jets because that really forced the merger when the Giants beat the Colts. And and I'm sure some people, the Giants are gonna say when they upset the 18 and 0 New England Patriots. You know what? That though that would be for me most two most memorable. Is that what we're talking about? When the Giants upset the Patriots and obviously the damn Patriots coming back against them goddamn Falcons, man. But that, that wasn't an upset. They were favored. Twenty eight three. Yeah, but you down twenty eight three, huh? But you do realize, like, like an upset that means you have to be an underdog. I I feel okay, but again. NFL, biggest game, up yeah. 23. People, I walked away from the TV. I left home. I left home, went somewhere else. When I get where I'm going, I look at the TV, and I'm like, "How and what in the world is going on? Because you expect the team to win with that kind of lead. You The right. game is over, or right. so I thought. Hell, when the Lions jumped out on the goddamn – what was they yeah. playing? The 49ers? I'm like, oh, man. What well, is thing over, man? But I didn't stop watching because I made that mistake. <laughs> I made that mistake with the, in that goddamn Atlanta, that Atlanta mm -hmm. New England game. So I stayed watching. And I remember I remember tweeting it. I said, I don't know what adjustments the 49ers are going to make at the half. But at some point, the momentum in this game is going to shift. It's right. going to swing. And boy, it swung. Boy, did it swing. And that What's your favorite half. boxing match? Oh, that's a good one. Probably uh Mickey Ward and Arturo yeah, Gotti. That's what I was gonna say. One of those. Mickey Ward and Arturo Gotti. Obviously. Hagler, Hagler Hearns in 81. Uh Hagler Hearns in one and two. Which is really good. Uh another one. I don't think I don't think Hagler Hearns think they fought but one. That was the 81 when it would it went three rounds. What I'm well, thinking about sugar yeah. rating, huh? Sugar Ray and, Sugar and, Ray and, and, and um, Tommy Hearns had a one and two, Tommy and Hearns. that was a great that That's was a great one, one because I, I think Sugar Ray stopped him in the fourteenth round because back then they, they went fifteen mm -hmm. rounds. 
Right. Um, what about, I think I like the clinical display and savviness and, and ring IQ of Floyd in the Canelo flight. Mm -hmm. When he fought Canelo. That was that was a, a, a masterpiece of just pure boxing skill he was and ring IQ. He was surgical. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh yeah. there was some there were some good fights uh back in the day. You know, you fights used to come on CBS. Yeah. <laughs> I wish CBS I, I wish CBS would go get the rights again. Because now boxing is no longer on showtime. Yeah. Uh, they talk about uh, Castillo and Diego Corrales. I like the uh, who who's that? Ooh, that remember Margarito one. and uh, Cotto? Yeah, well, Margarito had, had that hey, plaster had that plaster on his hand. Plaster in the yeah. yep, in, the, in the gloves. Hey, was it um Diego Corrales fight? That's the one we yeah. kept getting knocked yeah, down yeah, and yeah, came back yeah, and won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, Emma hey, Castillo. Hey, buddy, I remember that. Yep. Yeah. Dr. Frank L. Bellamy said, hey, Uncle Nocho, if y'all had to describe your friendship in three words, what would it be? Like Sanford and Son? Mm. Which one Which one is Fred? Who Fred and who Lamont? Oh, I, oh, you talking about our friendship? I thought, oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. That's a good one. Clearly, Ocho, Ocho, hey, Ocho, and we, Ocho, complete, Ocho. And we, we, and we are, we are, we're polar opposites too. If total. you think about it, total. And maybe, and maybe, I'm, I'm and maybe that's why, thing. that's why it works so much because we're like so far <laughs> on the different end of the spectrums. Like he, Spectrum, I'm over yeah, here, and completely. he's over here, and you see all that space in between, way over. <laughs> this dude here, <laughs> <is> man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm living. I'm, I'm I'm living like you say Ocho, you living you ain't living but I'm Ocho, I'm living. Do you realize how much living. I've lived? Right, right, right. You you've lived, but you ain't lived enough because some of the things I say are shocking to you. To that lets me know you ain't really lived the way oh, you have. think you have. I just like you know what? All right. I don't ask God. He done got me out of some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You done told yeah. some stories now. Yeah, you 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 lucky. You really you but you listen. You got nine. Yeah, lives but I'm like saying, how many have I used up? And you talking about go living six? You 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 don't used up six of them. <laughs> <laughs> From what I heard, six let's of see. them. One, let's see the AK, kick the door off the hinges, put a gun to your head. To my head. Walking out, her yeah. car flat again. That puts you in home. Oh, I got. Way. I had a couple of. I'm gonna have to say those. Uh, I might tell those that. Uh, I might have to tell those stories and uh, at, at, <laughs> at the line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Ocho. Yeah, I'm. I'm living. I. I don't, I don't even know if I want to live no more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would. If if living requires me to be anything like I was in my twenties, Ocho. Count your boy out. Yeah. yeah you got yeah. you gotta bring it. You got no 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 not not nah, that's not not that kind of living. We we on we on some on a different on a on a on a different spectrum of of living and different dynamic of of having fun and just and experiences that we've never done before. That's all. We're gonna get you there. We can you know baby steps. I mean we're gonna get you there. It's all about finding you the right Who one. Who winning? Texas, Florida, Vegas, and Tennessee. Who winning? One. Florida, I guarantee Texas. you that. And I ain't mm -hmm. Texas winning for real? I'm moving to Houston then. You know, nah. Yeah, let your boy go. Let's go, you know. let's go. Hey, nah. let's go, let's go. <laughs> Don't do that. Houston, Houston is overpopulated and crowded. Well, but you get a you get a hey, you get a lot of bangs hey, in your buck and you I guess, though, I guess three now. more won't hurt the population too much. <laughs> Listen, but hey, the, the price the price point for houses Damn. in Houston is good. Boy, you boy, you get some boy, you get some nice for a little knack. Uh, Ash though, she can get she can even get a house. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely could get a house. Okay, don't y'all y'all are the truth. Can y'all shout us out? <laughs> 
us veterans out. Uh, we love you guys. What kind of advice y'all have for an Army vet with a family trying to start a family business and can't get help from the VA? Well, see, first of all, Eld Eldrin, thank you for your service. Myself, Ocho, and a lot Thank of Americans service. owe you a great Appreciate deal of gratitude it. for what you've done. Your selflessness and what you've displayed for your country, I take my hat off to you. I thank you. This is what irks me about our government. I've said this before, Ocho, and I believe it. You serve your country. You get, dishonor you get honorable discharge. Mm. Why are you having a struggle to find a job? I mean, and I you should be you should that. get to move, I mean, to start a business. Yes, sure, Mr. Logan, we'd love to help you. How can we assist you? That's what it should be. After what they've sacrificed, so other people mm -hmm. that didn't have to make those same sacrifices can go get a loan and start right. a business and can go get a mm -hmm. job. I've never I'm I'm never gonna agree with that. I'm sorry. Right. I wonder why Gosh. is it so difficult? I don't know. I wish I knew, Ocho. Um, and I wish there was something that I could do to help. But all I can do is say, look, it's wrong. I've always said that it was wrong. I'm a firm believer that if you serve in the military, man, woman, child, you get honorably discharged, mm -hmm. you, should not, you should not have a problem finding a job. You should have yeah. health insurance for the remainder of your days. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take it, if you take it by, if you take my tax money for that, I ain't got no problem. Right. I ain't got no problem. You take it fifty percent, and you take it in any way. But I was like, I'm not gonna be nearly as upset if it's going to right. to, to right. worthy causes. Right. And you would you would think, obviously, after serving, you would have unlimited resources to make sure you're able to to live a comfortable life and whatever in, endeavors you want to. Embark on, you have yes. access to. I believe that. We agree. Elijah B Basalto. Hey, Uncle uh, Ocho, watching from Australia. What up, mate? Uh, what are y'all advice on dealing <laughs> with the re-entering re dating scene after a long time off and in, in a or in a long relationship? Finding it is hard. Need help from my guys. Cream. Ocho, that is not the first thing when you enter the you done been out you done been out the game. That ain't the first thing that comes to your mind is whipped cream. Help the man out. The man came with us with serious problems. We supposed to have some answers. I, I mean, well, I'm, I'm gonna let you answer that because he ain't gonna want to hear what I got to say. I'm going. I'm going. Somebody talking about I'm Meg going, the Stallion ain't in deep. Austin. Where I'm, she live at? I mean, she ain't in Texas. Where Meg live? Where she at? I might stay right here. Miss Nasty B, point. I think she might be in Cali. I ain't going nowhere. Ah. Where Meg Stallion live? I think she does live right. in Texas. She's born in San Antonio. Where she live at now? Houston. You ain't ready for that, man. You'll be hating on me, though, Joe. I'm not hating. I just what say you're not ready for that. Because there's certain things. What, what, what I, I what ain't willing to do, do Ocho? What I ain't willing to do? If you not, listen, you, have you listened That's what to Meg's music? You listen to mm, I heard everything she you said. Sign your boy up. Yeah, well, you sign yeah. me oh, well, up right. for the Megan Jubilee. Oh, sign God. my name. Sign <laughs> my name on. <laughs> on uh, what you know about that? Well, hey, that's that good gospel <laughs> right there now. That's that good gospel. Uh, Uncultured Jay say, yo, guys, if I recommend some music, try Cleo Soul. Her voice. Feels like somebody giving you a warm hug. You haven't seen you haven't seen in years. All of her albums are nice. Also, uh, I think Destroying would make a great podcast guest. Who is Destroying? Look him up right quick. Yeah, Destroying oh, man. Is. Yeah, Destroying uh -huh. young 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 bull. He do he doing He's his thing. Yeah, he doing his thing big time. Bruh. Bro, my, when I when I say my head is down, and I'm worried about this, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Well, I I know I know who yeah. he is. I know who de destroying is. Good dude, doing doing some doing some wonderful things out the there right now. That's the thing. You see, when you doing your thing, look. There's how many hours in a day? 
24. 24. So if I gave, if you got, if I got 12 hours to mind my business, 12 hours to stay out of the right. other man's business, I ain't got time to right. worry about nobody else. I ain't got no time to gossip right. about anybody else. I ain't got no time to to worry about what somebody right. else doing, what they may have, what I don't have. Right. I just got enough time. I ain't got enough time to worry about my business. Right. I feel you. Oh, they, bro. Ocho. Somebody tweeted. Somebody, yeah. I, I, yeah, they tweeted it, right? They tweeted to me, said, Nikki said she wants to come on your podcast. I'm like, Nikki, I, bro, I'm like, who? Nikki who? Nikki Haley? Nikki Minaj? Wait, the queen, the queen wanna what the queen coming Bad on Shay Shay? Nikki Haley been been dominating the headlines too, saying that foolishness. So I'm like, so Nikki Haley wanna come on Club Shay Shay. Nah, we talk about the queen. Now when when somebody bro. say Nikki, only one I Nikki resonates with me. I'm 55, bro. And I it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't Nikki bro. Parker. I'm 55 years of age. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, I don't, yeah. I, don't, are, I, don't, I, don't I don't travel in that world. Do I know who Nicki Minaj is? Yes. Right. Now, yeah, yeah, that's that, yeah, that's that, yeah, that's that one now. That's that yeah. one now. Yeah. So, hey, uh -huh. you, you got to get, you got, you got to, got to get the queen on the show now. Did it? If she put it out there, you got to get the queen yeah, on the show. I mean, but, but here's the thing Nicki Minaj doesn't have yeah. to, like, oh, I'm thinking about it. She can just hit us up. Okay, fine. You have an open in some people, some guests have open invitations. Right. I mean, why would it right. not to say that they're ever gonna come on come on my show, but J about Hove and Beyonce, uh Taylor Swift or uh, Patrick oh. Mahomes or uh, LeBron. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on now. Oh, oh open invite. Really? Who who yeah, gonna, you know, who's gonna ever who's with, gonna yeah. ever turn those guys down for for uh uh for an for an interview to have a conversation? Nobody. Exactly. Nobody. But no y'all be expecting. Look, I know a little bit a lot, but I don't. I don't. I don't really know like the mute. Like you said, destroy, bro. I'd have never guessed that. I'd have still been here tomorrow. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, that's the, I'd have had to Google it. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna catch you up to speed on a lot of stuff, huh? Because you. You. You, well, behind. Hey. you know. You right now. You still. You still got a flip phone. You no, still got a flip no. phone when it comes to the culture and what was going on. I'm. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you out. But anytime you hear the word Nikki. Right away, the first thing that should resonate with you okay. is the queen. Okay. All right, that's it. You so now you're a barb. Oh, okay. Yeah, we no. barbs. Mm -mm. No. Okay, my bad. Let's see. Hold on, I thought I thought uh, a little Kim was queen. Queen. Oh, I think. Hold on. Like, hey, 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 ain't so no, ain't no Kim remember, Queen B. Hey, hey, hold on. In. Listen, listen. <coughs> Let me give it to but, you in, in football, how did, in how football did... terms. We had yeah. Tom Brady, right? And Tom Brady had a great yeah. era and a great run. And then, so that would be okay. Lil' Kim. And now we got okay. Patrick Mahomes. Now, I might be a little off with my analogies based on the years, but boom, Patrick Mahomes is goddamn right. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, but I'm just saying. But I, I grew both, both, both great in their respective crafts during their time and their era. And okay. I might be a little off because Tom just finished playing, but okay. that's the best I okay. can do. I'll take your word for it because, like I said, I just I think I remember I remember a uh, a uh, uh, little Kim, and I think they used to call her queen. But okay, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, we got we, we got we got to, we got to get you hip, man. Yeah, but I, I think the thing is, is this like they, they try to, you know, the internet make it like, oh, uh, disrespect the Nicki Minaj. Bro, you didn't say Nicki Minaj. I don't know. I don't, like I said, if somebody would say, if somebody would have said Beyonce, obviously, I don't even know what, what yeah, know. but obviously, you right. know, I, I don't, bro, I'm in my own little bubble. I don't bother nobody. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make the best content. I'm trying to make Claire Shea Shea as great as I possibly can. I'm trying to make Nightcap as great as I possibly can. And when I go on first take, I'm trying to give them the best two days, the best four hours I could possibly give them. That's where I am. So I'm sorry right, that I right. don't know, I, I don't have all that, all this free time to know who, and you go by one name and all that other stuff. 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I really am. But this is <laughs> it is what it is. We got to catch. We got to cut you up, Unc, man. You let me. You let your age show. A, it's okay. I fit it. Ocho, you do realize that once you get to a certain age, you realize the goal is to get old. That's the goal. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, that yeah. these young people like, oh, I, I'm you old and all that. One day you're going to come to the realization that you know what? That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I need I need to keep you abreast on on the culture that's younger than you. So you can be well rounded and well. Man, I'm trying to make. I'm trying. I'm, uh, Ocho, Ocho. I only got so much time in a day. I'm. Yeah. I'm trying to actually. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make money, bro. I'm trying to create the best content right. that oh, we, we possibly we, can. Yeah, we we gonna we gonna make it. You know that's gonna happen anyway because that's that's already given. It's happening. It's gonna happen regardless. It's gonna happen yeah. regardless. Hey, hey now. Like if they say if they say Cardi, I might know who Cardi B is, but you probably got me. You just can't say Cardi. Cardi, I'm like, yeah, you could be Playboy Cardi. Ooh, he, what do you? It do? could be. Play, is that is that the, is that the, hold on? Is that the one that was dating Nicki Minaj? No man, that's the one that was with uh with uh with who? Piggy. I don't know with who Piggy Nikki is. Piggy, pig, wait. Oh, no, Iggy Azalea. Iggy. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think, they, I think they. I think they. I think they got. I think they got okay, a little angel okay, together. Okay. They got okay. Okay. Angel. Okay. I'm. 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 I'm bad. I'm bad with names too. A little bit. I'm so. I'm. I'm. I'm old. You know. I'm. 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 I'm old too. So. Yeah, but see, Iggy, you say yeah. Iggy. I mean, I have to know who she is. But if somebody just said Iggy, I mean, if you just said Iggy, I'd have like say probably Iggy Pop. No, or Ig Iggy. Uh, yeah. Iggy Dollar. Yeah, I, see, I'm you know what? what? I'm old too, man. Don't don't forget because I'm I'm saying the lady name wrong. Iggy Azalea. Yeah, Iggy. I'm talking about. Yeah, Piggy. that's what they, I'm what like. Piggy, Piggy, who the hell is Piggy? Miss Piggy? I don't know. I don't know what the Piggy. So you be making up names, nah. Locho. See, you don't got me. Nah, I just I, nah. I, I was trying to remember. And because, then and then Beyonce came okay. like with the beehives, with the bees all because everybody's like, yeah. the, the, the yeah, bees. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you say something, you ain't got no business. You just yeah, yeah, a whole that's, bunch that's, of bees yeah, being yeah, your yeah. Instagram. Because what I, I say, we we was having a conversation about uh, about reach and about you know uh, uh, moving a needle. I had a lot of I had a lot of oh, bees. Yeah, they, they, oh, they so I got me, I just got me some raid and flash water and just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My boy Khaled. What what Cali sent you, boy? Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about what old Cali said, it, boy. Is that some Jordans? Let's play. I think let's, he teamed up. I think he teamed up with uh with Tommy Hill figure. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, see, look at that. Y'all see that? We the best. Tommy Hill figure. I like that. You remember back in the day? I don't know if you I remember like that. You guys used to wear them on Tommy Hilfiger and them Jabot jeans. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't remember that. I remember. I remember. I used to have the Tommy Hilfiger sets with the polo shirt, with the white, yeah. with, the, with the shorts, with uh, with the DJ box. Cali, I appreciate that. I appreciate the sit down. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to you since we did the interview, but I appreciate the sit down. I appreciate you inviting my brother to play in your golf tournament. He appreciate it, and I want to say thank you for that. I appreciate the shirt that you sent me with the collab with uh, Tommy Hilfiger. Greatly appreciate that, bro. Much love. Big ups. Keep doing what you're doing. What else? So, <clears throat> so, Nikki, if you took any, if you took offense to what I said, I'm sincerely apologize. I sincerely apologize. That was not my intentions. I don't try to. I don't disrespect anybody. Uh, but I didn't know. I didn't. So I apologize, and I would love for you to come by Club Shay Shay and have a conversation um, at the time of your choosing. So 
that's where I am with that. So you know how people make things, but oh, ooh, ooh, uh, disrespected, disrespected yeah, uh, 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 the queen. I guess that's what you call her. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the queen. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna shoot her a text. I'm, a, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it happen. Why? It happen. I'm gonna connect the dots. What you gonna make happen? So she can come on Club Shay Shay. I think that that'd be a good one. Okay. That'd be a good one. So she, listen, that 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 that'd be a good one. That'd be that'd be a real. So good so one. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would love to have. I would love to have her. Uh, uh Meg. But you know, it is what it is, Ocho. You know, you reach out to people, and sometimes they mm. they like you know, they like they do it, and they're like, well, no, I'm not doing podcasts right now. And then the next day, you see them on a podcast. Oh well. Right, but but it's different. It's different. We 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 uh we unk and Ocho, and and these are people that you're asking for. These are people that I know personally, and and as a favor, being that I don't I don't ask for much, and I don't bother people right. really ever. So if I'm asking for this one favor, I think they will oblige based on our success, uh, our reach, and and being able to get their message and whatever it is that they want to say yeah. and get it out there. They won't have an issue. Especially, especially after that cat interview, I think anybody, <laughs> Obama, will be willing to sit down with we you bet. right now, you know, because they, they 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 see the reach that you do have and what's possible, you know. So, it's a, uh, Nikki about the tour. Well, hopefully, uh, before she kicked the tour off, she come by stop by Club Shay Shay. We'll even decorate yeah. the set pink. We ain't got no pink, but hey. <laughs> we get a we we, 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 we get, can find we can find we can find some pink and we can find some pink at party yeah, city. Uh Barb. Is it like is it she be like Barb like Barbie dolls or something? No, Barb. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we go get a bunch of Barbie dolls. Barbie. We get some life size, uh, we get some life size Barbie dolls. I bought my daughter no, some life size Barbie pink. dolls. Man, my, my oldest daughter ain't play one ain't play one day with that doll. Life size? Yeah. I'd be scared of that. That dog was that dog was big I'd as she was. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all trying to keep some bull job going. Uh <laughs> what she asked. Curvy Asian doll. So uncle. So unk. Okay, with whipped cream on a toe shot. Pretty feet gang. What that mean, Ocho? Cause that's your area of expertise. So what so what she's saying is she has okay. pretty feet. So she would like you to use whipped cream on her feet. And she's a part of the pretty toe gang, really letting you know that her feet are pretty and she would like you to use a whipped cream on her feet. Yeah. I mean, the fact that we have no visual to go with her her right. assessment or what she's saying, so we really don't know if she had pretty feet or not. I mean, what if she got pretty feet, but she not? I mean, normally, nine times out of ten, someone mm -hmm. with beautiful feet, it kind of it works. Works the way down. Started the top and works the way down. Way, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah started yeah, at the top okay. and works. I'll take your word for it. Just all the way down. Hey. Yeah, I mean, you, hey. I, 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 I don't have so a vision. Who, who, so who, really who won the vote? What where, where where should we where where should uh Aaliyah? They said she's in Miami. <laughs> okay. I will ask the chat. Who do you guys think I should interview next? Nikki, Meg, or Cardi B? Who oh, well, obviously I shall take all of them. That's a good <laughs> damn. Well, hey, li listen. Oh, yeah. You could, I honestly, I would do all three. Ocho, I've said I would do all. I three, would, I, but I, I can't do all three of them right. at once. What's the likelihood I get all three of them at once to sit down? Listen, I would love three of the three of the the power hitters in the industry as females to sit down and discuss their differences and hash things out. And work together because you're more powerful as one. Now that's just a mm -hmm. dream of mine and how right. I look at it. Imagine what y'all could do as one, as opposed to having different issues with each other. Whatever those issues may be, let's oh, hash I guess out. I should have put like Doja Hell. Cat. Uh, what's the other one? Lotto. No, this, oh, okay. No, 
I, I like it. Think about think about all three of them going on tour together. Think about the money they could make. Think about what they could do. Nikki, Meg, Cardi B, Lotto, uh, who else? Ice Spice. Think about a tour. Think about all them touring together, man. You know the numbers they would do. Don't you? You, you act I mean, like I'm a you act like I'm a tour promoter. Like I got some power in this. I know. I'm, I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Just you know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know nothing about touring, but I understand. I thought you knew about everything. Be, I mean, you helped. You helped Beyonce on Lemonade but, but, choreography. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I'm in the credits. All you gotta do is open. Open. If you bought, the you ain't CD, even got good credits. credits. My Let name right in there. The credits. Well, my credit, but my credit is seven eighty. Don't do that. And one thing I don't play about is my credit. That's all you got. That's all I got in life. My credit and my who, mistake. Who win it? Who win it? Who win it? Only thing I own. Nikki's winning. Who next? Oh. Somebody talk about some sexy red. Hey. <laughs> talk about, ask talk about when I when we moved to Houston, I can interview Meg then. But in the meantime, so you vote Nikki. Who you vote, Nash? Who you vote, Jordan? Damn, I like that idea. If Jordan, somebody he I go like with me. Ash go with Nikki. I'm gonna drop my damn cigar. Miss Running burn the house down. Well, I guess at, I at they, that I point, know, I know they're gonna. I I I definitely think um, all of those all those uh, young ladies would do numbers. Um, oh yeah, man, I like that. I like that tour but, idea uh, I was talking about. But cat, you know, cat cat said. I mean, you heard him say it. Like, once I establish this as a place of truth, mm -hmm. and you allow people to a comfortable place, he ain't lie. And I, I've I've spoken to him uh, yeah. a, a few times since then, and he he, yeah. he he he's been great. He's been he's been unbelievable. I'm gonna see him when he come out. I, I, he's gonna film a special out here in May. I'm definitely I'm definitely going to be at it. Yeah, gonna <coughs> oh, be it's gonna good. be it's gonna be off the chain. It's gonna be crazy. I'm excited. It's gonna be That's real gonna be good. good. It's gonna be real good. So you ready? You ready for the Super Bowl, Lojo? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, I mean, I, obviously, I get to Vegas tomorrow. Uh, people that are traveling to the Super Bowl, there are two establishments I would like you to try. Um, you know, for those of you that want to spend well within your means, like I'm going to be doing um, dinner, I'd like you to try Soul Food Cafe. Soul Food Cafe is an establishment Where that is obviously that? sells soul food off Rainbow Boulevard. No, yeah, Soul Food Cafe is off Rainbow okay. Boulevard. You got to try Soul Food Cafe. And for breakfast, you have to try Grits Cafe. Grits Cafe and Soul Food Cafe. I don't know the actual address of Grits Cafe, but my goodness, the breakfast they have there, you will really, really, really enjoy. Obviously, everyone else going to Vegas wants to go to all the five-star places, all the places, you know, the commercials, the TVs, the uh, look, look who's in here now, you know, like, and yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool, whatever. But again, the mom and pop establishments, if you want some good soul food, you want some good breakfast, Soul Food Cafe, ask for the Ocho Cinco special when you go there, and Grits Cafe for breakfast, and tell them I sent you, you'll probably get 10% off. I just, I'm Throw just it throwing out it out there if y'all if going, yeah. Simone Biles. Somebody said Simone Biles and her husband. So we got 20, almost 2,700 votes and Nikki is winning by big big margin, isn't she? All right, Nikki. Fans are spoken. Before you yeah. hit the road, you need to come see Club Shay Shay. That'd, That'd be, be all the way live. Nick, yeah, Nick, 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 Nick moved a needle, bro. Hell yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick moved a needle. Man. Man, I be getting some bad, man. Nicky might, hey. 
I mean, I've been trying to look. We're gonna drop Monique on um on um on Wednesday. She she's Ooh. she's incredible. I mean, I've been I've been I've been trying to, I've been trying to get a lot of females because everybody like we bro. I mean, what you want me to do? You want me to kidnap them and bring them on and, and force them to come on the show? Yeah. All I can do is reach out. Right, I can right. have I, I reach out directly or I have my representatives reach out. But if they don't want to come on, which I don't know what y'all want me to do. Talk about yeah, well, you need more females. Okay. I understand that. I don't have a like, oh, I gotta get this. I, you know, I don't want no females to come on. The female, for the most part, haven't been willing to come come and have a conversation with me. So I don't know what y'all want me to do. Huh? Right. Oh. That Mo that Monique, that Mo that Monique gonna be, She's gonna be great. It, it depending on which Monique showed up, because you know, Monique hey, put this in the chat. Tongue. Chad, do y'all find do y'all find when a man say female offensive or should we say women? Put that in the chat. Why would they find? I just I don't know. Offensive? Somebody somebody in this room is always correcting me and Jordan, so I just want to put that up oh. there. I mean, I had Brittany Renner, I've had uh, Tabitha Brown, I've had Candy Burris, and I've had uh, Monique. That's the only, those are the only women we had, right, George? Damn, I didn't know I had that been up this whole time. Hopefully, nobody can see it. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm President President too, because I see both of them. It doesn't matter. Ash on some bull jive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to get a, a, I might bring, you know who I might bring into my pod? Jay Cargill. You know who that is? She WWE. Yeah, that's a, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. That's or, a uh, or her or Nikita. She's she's oh, good no, too. Nikita. I know that is well. Uh, Nikita and I'll be old. I'll be black Nikita. You remember Nikita Koloff? Yeah, in wrestling. Yeah, remember that? You remember no, her? Nikita. Now she actually wrestles in the WWE. No, I'm yeah, about Nikita 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 he had he had his uncle was Ivan. Okay, actually, his real name I think his yeah. name was Scott Simpson, but uh, Ivan Kolar, right. the Russian bear. What is what is it? Mm. Your uh, your wife your your producer's wife said she hates when people say female. Mm. Nikita, Nikita Lyons. That's a name. That's a name. Chat, y'all know. I just um. Uh... Bro, look here. They talk... man, Ocho. They talking about get get Taylor Swift, get Beyonce. Man, some people you don't even ask. You know what I'm saying, Ocho? There are some things that you wouldn't even ask your mom. You wouldn't even ask your granddaddy, your grandma. Some stuff you don't yeah. even ask. Hey, that's that's that's, yeah, that's, that's difficult. That's difficult. Where what, what, where where we at? I think we're gonna claw back some of that 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 deficit we gave up. I kind of like females. <laughs> <laughs> anything to get a anything to annoy ass. It is not offensive, man. Stop. <laughs> <coughs> uh, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're now at 900, 976. We're at 976,000 subs. That means we're 24,000 away. So basically, we're going to have to cover a lot of ground in the next three days, Ocho. 
but it can be done. We are. We are. Yeah, we are. Listen, I'm 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 trying to hold off. I'm trying to hold off so before I hit that button. Before I hit that, you know, before I yeah, hit that emergency yeah. button. So make sure we clear that. But if we get the Wednesday, if we get the Wednesday and we're not there, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit the button and I'm watching. We're gonna we gonna surpass one million okay. like that. I'm, I'm trying to please hold make off, sure y'all subscribe to the nightcap podcast feed. Nightcap does have a podcast feed, even though you can get it through Club Shay Shay. Please make sure you join. Hey, as a matter of fact, just go join both of them. Subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. Super Bowl right around the corner. Valentine's Day right after that. St. Patrick's Day right after that. And in between those holidays, I'm sure somebody has a birthday. Go out and get yourself or someone special a bottle of Shea by Laportier. Unk would greatly appreciate it. Please don't make, make sure you uh, uh, remember We've been nominated for the NAACP Image Award for Art, Sports, and Entertainment Outstanding Podcast. Please go vote for us. We'd like to win. And Jordan did a tutorial. I don't know what it is, but y'all go check it out because he's going to give you a step-by-step process of how you should go vote and make sure you vote for your favorite team, your favorite duo, Unc and Ocho. So thank you for joining us again. Make sure you join us again. Yeah, I got something. Let's see if y'all know what these are. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Look at look at the frown on his face. He don't know. He don't know nothing about these. Yeah. Them. 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 Uh. Air Force Ones. With with, with double ankle support. Like I, I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna call them the Dan Marinos because Dan Marino had some cleats that went just that uh-huh. high too. Yeah. So the next time you will see us. The next time you'll see us for uh, Nightcap will be Thursday at the live. Um, Unk and Ocho, our first live event. Hopefully it goes really well and it'll be the first of many to come. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite Unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, bingo legend, ringer famer, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and good night.